Well, good morning, folks. We have some important news from the king, a.k.a. Greg of Manor Lords has dropped a little bit of a informational piece on Steam. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Hello, everybody, for our, uh, I don't even know, fifth consecutive day of covering Manor Lords as the excitement is near. Well, it's here. Uh, but the release date is near for this game on April 26, 2024 on uh, the Epic Game Store. Use code Raptoria at checkout, of course, but also on Steam, Game Pass, and uh, GOG, as well as it coming to console uh, Xbox sometime in the future. Probably after 1.0, which I think is a long, long way away. But the developer did release a little bit of a, a news thing trying to clarify some things and uh, trying to, I think, not necessarily contain the hype, but certainly guide it. So uh, remember, this game will be not releasing into a full game on the 26th, but it's an early access game and certainly feels like it in some ways. Um, but for one guy, that's right, one, working on this game for seven years, that's right, seven, and working on this game part-time, yes, part-time, for pretty much all that time, uh, this is probably the uh, most hyped game on this channel for a very long time and also of course um, Is the number one game on Steam like it's the most wishlisted game I think the only other two behind that are Hades and Frostpunk in maybe that order uh, But again, this is a great year a great year for city builders Lasara Summit Kingdom Manor Lords uh, We've also got um, Farthest Frontier coming out later and uh, even Frostpunk 2 in July, so it's a uh, going to be a big year for sequels, a big year for new games. It's it's big. It's big, and it's happy. Happy times, I must say. All right, so I'm going to read this post from uh, Greg, a.k.a. Uh, Slavic Magic, who posted some things about the uh, uh, roadmap and stuff like that. So this is good, because all I've been trying to do for these streams, other than just playing Manor Lords, is also to try to be as helpful as I can uh, to everybody watching. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do an FAQ that's down below in the comments. Uh, down in the comment section on YouTube and then I've been trying to take notes and add to that as you guys have been asking questions I've been trying to find answers and if I don't have an answer then it's basically just like unknown TBD like we'll see what happens um, and what you know what's what's been said in the future like we'll, we'll come back to it but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, Greg has said and uh, this may clarify some things and uh, help all of you make a decision on whether or not you want to buy this one uh, when it comes out on the 26th so good morning Glory to Raptoria. Make sure everybody reads that pin message. Make sure everybody reads that description on YouTube. A lot of questions, good questions come in, and a lot of them are very frequently and commonly asked. And again, I tried to put at least 10 that I've got so far, and uh, I've taken probably about five more that I'll type up later today uh, as I try to look for answers. So here we go. A few words from the dev before the launch into early access. Remember, early access launch. Hi, everyone. It's been quite a journey so far, but I won't stop... It won't stop on April 26th. During development, the core uh, tester group was around, wow, 130 people. Given the popularity of the game, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a wave of feedback that I will need to address after the early access launch. I wanted to address a few things for everyone who intends on buying the game on April 26th. What the game is not. Manor Lords is not a Total War competitor. It is a city builder with battles. Yes, battles are there, but... Uh, not as huge or as frequent as some of you may expect. The majority of gameplay is focused on city building and management. That is true. It is not an empire management style grand strategy game either. The map has regions, but you won't uh, be able to conquer the whole Europe, nor have uh, marriages or anything like that. The game is designed to play at a much smaller scale. Uh, it's not an RPG either. If you played uh, KCD, I think is Kingdom Come Deliverance, or Mountain Blade, Manor Lords is a different type of game. There is a visit mode in Manor Lords which allows you to walk around your town, but it's experimental, cosmetic bonus feature. Uh, the game is really meant to be played from the bird's eye perspective, like a strategy game mo almost always should. There won't be any kind of first person gameplay. Now again, everything he's saying could change, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that changes, or at least that there is something we could do differently than just walk, uh, like ride a horse or something. I, is it, it's an experimental feature, and I think it would be cool to expand on that, but I think that's lower on the list. It's not a competitive, fast-paced RTS like Age of Empires or StarCraft. Let me read that again. It's not a competitive, fast-paced RTS like Age of Emp Empires or StarCraft. Yeah, Greg wants you to play this game slow, dude. We've played this particular city that we're going to build in today probably for like four episodes now. 
and the city's still not even like where I want it. Like we're not even ready to expand. So we got a long way to go. So f certainly uh, very slow. Of course, I've been playing on slow on purpose too. But uh, what's the rush, you know? <laughs> I love my city. I love it. Uh, a lot of the game mechanics focus on aesthetics uh, of your town of resources take some time to be transported around the map. Yep, takes a while. The results uh, mostly... Well, this results in more of a mostly relaxed experience with high-intensity moments spicing up the atmospheric city building rather than the game uh, being at high intensity. Uh, high intensity all the time okay so that kind of clarifies what the uh, game will be at least at launch and of course can always uh, expand from there this will be an early access release yes it must be disappointing but I think that it's the right choice it's my first serious game and uh, not only some stuff is unfinished but I bet you guys will ask me to change some things you don't necessarily like yes and he's been very responsive to feedback so that's a <laughs> He is a gamer making a game for gamers. So since he's making it for us and not like a product in order to uh, bring value to a shareholder, he's trying to make ga a game that gamers will enjoy. That that does seem to fit the uh, that does seem to fit the uh, the profile there. Um, where was I? Uh, but I want to pursue an open development strategy of a back and forth between me and you. He's been doing that the whole time, so th this totally fits. Uh, pretty much for the last two and a half years, I've been seeing him basically going on Twitter, taking polls like, hey, I want to make the church look like this or function like that. Like, would you guys like that? And then does a Twitter poll and then, you know, th thinks about ways to maybe possibly put in uh, like both modes or something like that. And, you know, tries to do whatever the community. He comes up with some great ideas. So good that it's painful kind of to choose between the two. So, um, yeah, he, he, he comes up with a lot of ideas and... Um, Certainly, it's nice to see the community voting on that stuff and being just as involved as he is. I think it worked great for the game so far. I'm uh, comparing to the times where there wasn't even a testing group and I was developing in a bubble. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, the publisher I recently and I recently uh, shared the game with content creators all over the world. Feel free to check out numerous streams and Let's Plays out there before buying to make sure this uh, is the game for you. I think he made a critical mistake here. I think this is, uh, of all the things that um, Slavic Magic has done and has said, I think this is probably the biggest mistake he's done. And I really, I, I don't think this is right here. I, I think this was, you know, he should probably maybe delete this and, and bring it back with uh, saying things like, uh, feel free to check out Raptor streams and videos and make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and make sure you follow on Twitch. That's probably what he should have said. Um, you know, there's other content creators out there and they're great, but he did forget to mention me specifically. So, like, you know, everybody makes mistakes. I think I can forgive him for that one. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. No, but he's right. Yeah, there's uh, people all over the world playing this game for medieval battles, for the city, like the how the buildings look and like looking at outfits and things like that. There are so many people who like the smallest things about this game that, um, you know, it, it's cool as hell to see people who like go to Renaissance festivals all, all the time just going into visit mode and like walking through the market. Like this game... Yeah, it's really cool to see this game bring out everything there is to enjoy about, like, medieval city builders. Like, again, uh, Manor Lords is very similar to, um, you know, medieval dynasty in some ways, how the buildings look when they're constructing. Like, there's a lot of detail there for that. And uh, the battles are really realistic, too. And um, I think this is a game that people didn't think would ever exist or didn't know that they wanted. And so the fact that it's, like, on the way is, like, blows people's minds blows people's minds. Now that said, the reception of the game has been super positive so far, which I'm very grateful. I think the game should be, uh, should find a way into the hearts of players who expected Manor Lords to be what it is, a realistic, organic, authentic city builder with real-time battles. That's what it is. A organic, yes, because of the road system for sure and how the uh, burgage plots work. I mean, it just, yeah, that, that 100%. Authentic city builder, mm -hmm. real-time battles, yes, absolutely. Very good. All right, so here's some info on the roadmap. Everybody's been asking, what's the roadmap? What's next? Uh, you know, will, will there be horses? Will there be castles? Will there be uh, sieges and, and siege equipment? Like, you know, what more will be added and when? So here's the news on that. So this is important. Uh, I do not plan on releasing a roadmap yet. I made a mistake once or twice before, promising and working on a feature, only to find out that the testers didn't care as much as I did and that they actually wanted something else. So even if I have a plan, I want to... 
uh, adopt the ph uh, philosophy to listen, verify, and implement. This way, I expect the first month of patches just to be bug fixes and, po and Polish. What the hell? He's going to put Polish language into the, into the game? He is Polish. That's going to be an easy patch. No, Polish. <laughs> He's going to put in Polish. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I thought he would do. Uh, so once this game drops, it's going to be critical bug fixes, crashes, major stuff. There's probably going to be no new content or anything like um, amazing coming out for the first month, I think. Uh, and that's totally fine. That's going to give people uh, time to get into this game and absorb it. Already content creators have had like, you know, a week in order to make content on this. And um, I think we're still learning. And in fact, we agreed to an embargo that says we can't review the game until the 24th of April. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Not because they're trying to hide anything, but because this game is so huge and takes so long to play that they want people to play this before they review it. We're talking about like having a beautiful like three-course meal that's so delicious, you can't ask somebody how they think about it three bites into the appetizer. You really can't. You have to wait till somebody's had the appetizer, had a little bit of time to rest, have some wine or some drinks or whatever. Here comes the main course. Enjoy that. Sit back and relax for a little bit, have some pleasant conversation, and then have the dessert. And then start thinking about the, the meal on the car ride home, you know? Like, even when the the manager or the waitress or wh whoever comes over uh, and asks you, Oh, how was the meal? Oh, it was really good. Thank you. Really good. And then you talk about it in the car. Like, you have that moment where you're quiet for a while in the car and be like, Damn, that, that spaghetti was good. <laughs> like, that was some... That, wow. That Was that feta cheese? You know, like, whatever. Like, you know, oh, dude, the burger was... I Bro, I didn't even know a burger could taste like that. Was that was that foie gras? It's like, no, dude, it was Burger King. Like, oh, my God. Wow, that f they flame broil their Whoppers? You know, like, that. that's the conversation that we should be having kind of after the release, you know, or at least after an ample time to play. So I think that's the right move. Anyway, uh, getting back to it then. Uh, yeah, so what he expects for the first month is to be patches based on uh, everybody's feedback when prioritizing work based on what we hear. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, during that time, uh, together we with Hooded Horse, that's the publisher, we'll be collecting your feedback and then prioritizing work based on what we hear. So th this is good. The publisher is probably going to be doing the most amount of work and flexing and towards of grabbing everything that's important and trying to maybe suggest what they would do first and then Greg being able to grab the things that he wants to do first based on that alpha tester feedback. Or more importantly, maybe some of the more vocal voices on, um, you know, Steam, like the top comments and the reviews of Steam, and then also maybe content creators who are like, this game is great, but here's three things I don't like. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm still considering whether to keep the testing feature uh, patches closed or open. My current idea is to have an open pre-release beta branch so everyone that owns the game can check out and test the most uh, recent pre-release unstable version of the game and contribute uh, if they want to, and keep it the main branch as the previous most stable version Though, let me know, maybe you'd prefer me to keep the unstable versions closed. No, I think I think him making um, making the upcoming content once it's ready available to everybody so they can download it and give it a try. And then for people to make videos and be like, dude, they're, they're bringing catapults to, you know, YouTube video. Bringing catapults to Manor Lords and see how what people think about it. You know, that kind of thing. I think that's a good idea. And that's not the only source. You know, Twitter, Discord, the Steam comments, those are all, you know, really good. Uh, places for him to gather feedback for sure uh, as always thanks for uh, following and all the support i'll certainly keep the updates more frequent here once the early access officially starts have a good one king greg king lord lord god king emperor god king greg he misspelled his name there and just called himself greg but there you go okay so just keep in mind uh he's not trying to do anything that's going to kill uh man uh manor lords is not going to kill total war He's just trying to build a really cool city builder with battles. Uh, there's not going to be any sort of like, you know, uh, Crusader Kings level marriage and like political stuff. But there is po poli like political stuff in the game. There's policies in the game. So there is a little bit of law writing in there, but it's nothing super crazy. Um, but there you go. But that could change in the future. So there you go. All right. Let's jump into some Manor Lords. I just thought it was important to share what uh, the developer had been saying because this is one guy. And that's got to be a tremendous amount of weight on his shoulders to have the most wish-listed game on Steam. Even if, um, you know, people from a, a glance, you know, you guys watching are giving the game praise. And us content creators being like, wow, this is amazing. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what reviews say. Now, 
Also, if you care about reviews, I don't think I would listen to reviews for maybe like the first three days or so. Let, let some time pass, let people play this thing, and then start reading the reviews after either the people who've been playing since, you know, day one, all the way up until the 24th, listen to that because they've had the most time, and then wait a bit on Steam. You know, because those day one games that say like, um, you know, uh, <laughs> My Village Burned Down, Game of the Year, you know, couldn't, couldn't be a better game. Thumbs up. Like, it's like, okay, that that's a funny review. But if you really care about reviews, you got to get the ones that are like pros and cons. And right now, I think there are cons in this game. But they're like minor things that might be patched out when he drops like the day one patch before the game releases. Like, we still got some time to go. We're down to, what, nine days now before this bad boy drops? So, it, it it's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit. I don't re read reviews until I play the game. Really? Interesting. All right. Well, uh, we're expanding the town like crazy, folks. Uh, we're doing a bunch of uh, level two upgrades. This is beautiful. Uh, this town is not the biggest town we've ever built yet, but this is the best town I think we've ever built. Um, this is probably the best game of Manor Lords that we played. I think this is uh, absolutely outstanding. Out out outstanding. You never read reviews from people that played the game less than 20 hours? That's fair. I think I played maybe 40... Actually, let me check. I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, plus the demo, I, I probably played... Okay, I've almost played 70 hours of Manor Lords. I've almost played 70 hours of Manor Lords. Plus the demo, which was probably like another... That must have been like another... No, that, that was probably more than 10 hours for the demo. That was probably damn near 20. Yeah. I think so. So, yeah. All right, well, welcome back to Manor Lords, everybody. Uh, welcome to the beautiful town of Medvedi Mesto. Uh, I guess a Czech-inspired bear town. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we've been uh, taking it slow, but we've been doing some amazing things. I'm doing some testing on some stuff, and um, it, it's it's good. So uh, we're going to be upgrading to a um, medium town here shortly. I'm getting a bunch of houses upgraded to Tier 2, and then I'm going to upgrade a bunch of houses to Tier 3. And then we'll have, uh, I think, our second to the last Tier town. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be building this town up to the biggest size it could be before we start taking over all these other regions. we gotta, we got to make sure we have a strong military, which we do. And I've been naming the military uh, after a lot of you guys. So uh, when the time comes, I'll, uh, I'll start taking recruits. So uh, I'll get some of your guys' names and uh, if there's room. Looks like we got a couple open spots for uh, a couple, couple members. But we'll get to that soon. We'll get to that soon. So uh, thanks again, guys, for following. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to all you awesome new members and subscribers. Um, thank you for all the gift bombs and just hanging out. And it's, it's been amazing to be around all the excitement. I'm glad you guys bring your, your positivity and excitement here. I, I love it. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, there's, um, there's spearmen and there's like footmen and stuff in the game. But we'll, we'll talk about the military in a little bit. Um, the, uh, the whole uh, retinue is kind of... Um, Different than what I was expecting, but it's not bad because it, it, everything, a lot of that stuff is placeholder and like TBD work in progress. So it's it's cool, but not not as impressive as I think it will be. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. I got to focus on uh, building the town here. I want to get these numbers up because, of course, this will take the longest time. We're hauling a bunch of uh, logs over one by one. Oh, we got a lot of people working here. This is good. How many... Uh, I'll just order another oxen, make things faster. Is the bot down again? Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, it very much well could be. That is very weird. Enemy bandit camp, bandit camp spotted. Enemy army spotted. Uh oh. This dude looks like he's coming our way. Uh, or this bandit camp here. Yeah, I think we're lucky. I think he's going for the bandit camps. <sighs> is combat mandatory? No, no. There is a there's a peaceful mode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this game even even with the combat is still heavily uh D uh, designed to focus on the city. In fact, a lot of your troops, um, the number of troops you can get and their morale and such is a lot dependent on the city, including your militia. So the better your city, 
the stronger your army. Your city is a representation of your military. So you can't really build a crappy town. Well, you can build a crappy looking town, but you'll get better with time. Don't, uh, don't judge yourself. I will have a tutorial series out today. We're going to be starting episode one on how to uh, lay out a town and stuff. I didn't realize how long the video was. I want to make shorter videos, like 47 minutes and whatnot, to respect everybody's time. But I would have to cut out information and make multiple videos on it. And I don't think I want to do like part one tutorial, part two, part three tutorial. I think I just want the tutorial video. And we'll see how people think about it. I think it will... Um, I think people really want like a 20 to 40 minute tutorial video and I just can't do it. I, I can't, otherwise I would have to, I, I would have to cut out so much stuff that it would be like cutting out every other word in a textbook. It wouldn't, there'd be a lot of holes in it and I don't think it would be helpful. I, wa I, I want to be more helpful than anything. So yeah, today's video is going to need a lot of love so everybody can find the tutorial because I want to help us uh, start a healthy, I want to use this channel to start a healthy discussion about Manor Lords and, uh, and uh, how to play the game. And so that the most amount of people who maybe haven't played a game like this before can play. I, I think a big majority of the people who've wishlisted the game have played a game like this before. But nobody's ever played a game like this before. You know what I mean? It's pretty crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Where are we? Got some good money, good population, 11 families free. Oxen number seven coming in. I got to slowly build up our trade uh, horses too by adding more uh, horses to that. Our power. Oh, 5,000 bucks in the game, damn. Oh, construction's completing on these tier twos. Mm-hmm. Oh, are these all tier 3s ready to go? Nice. I think we're going to make the rest of these tier 3s. Okay, so we need 5 more. So these are at least 4. So 4 tier 3s. Then we need 1 more tier 3. Which could be that house. Trying to keep everything on the main street here uh, upgraded to tier 3. This will kind of be more of the rural farming area, and then a few tier two, and then lots of tier two and three. Yep. You heard somewhere that the game will be discounted for the first few weeks of release. Don't know how true that is. It could be. A lot of games on Steam do get a big uh, discount at launch. This could possibly happen, but I don't know. There's a lot of speculation about the price, and there could be a discount. We'll see. But... Uh, We'll see. Free and Game Pass, though. Of course, you'll have to get Game Pass, but there you go. Yeah, there's uh, there's archers too. Your your retinue can't uh, be archers or crossbowmen, but uh, we can we can get. Actually, we have lots of bows. I've been trying to sell them. We have too many bows. Yeah, we have thirty two war bows. I'm trying to only like keep twenty. I can't even sell them fast enough. G'day from Australia. Hello, welcome. Uh, this game does have day-night cycles, yeah. Um, I don't know if they go with the seasonal change. I see what you mean, though. Like, by the by night, it would be the end of, like, spring, and then the morning is, like, the beginning of summer. And then by night, it would be the end of summer and then into uh, autumn. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Would I recommend buying this in the first few weeks of release? No. I would recommend you buying this when you think you'll enjoy it. When you have the money and when you feel like you want this game and when you when you feel like the time is right for you to have this game. You know, time as in like a, you're, you have time available to play and, um, you know, when, when the conditions are right for you, buy this game. And if this game is not for you, return this game. Uh, if you get it and you're like, you know what, I was hoping I would like that, but I, I didn't. That's totally fine. Make a return. It won't hurt Greg's feelings or mine or anybody's. We want everybody to have a good time. Dude made this out of passion, and I think he wants you to be passionate about this game, too. And if you're not feeling it, it's totally fine. Yep. 
Do as you wish. That is your right as the customer. Colonist, what's up? Good morning to you. Hello, Marshal Mark. Good to see you as well. Locked in. Soul, good to see you too. Hello. Hey, Jan. Good morning to you. Welcome. Bows, but no ships. No. No naval in the in the game. Or boats, or anything like that yet. Maybe in the future. There could be large bodies of water, lakes. I'd love to see that. Honestly, with this map being so beautiful like this, I can't wait to see what other maps will look like. Because I'm, I'm probably going to end up having a favorite in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go run for mayor, answer that like a politician. It's true, though. Like, I like this game, and this would be immediately a day one buy for me. If I, if I didn't have access to it now, it would have been, like, day one, like... I would have been live before purchasing the game. Like, there would have been a countdown. I'd be like, guys, one hour until I'm going to spend money on the game, you know? And then I'd be like, okay, guys, I'm going to buy it now. And, like, I'd change my screen so no one could see the, you know, the credit card information and stuff, and I'd buy it right there. It would... It, it would it, guaranteed. Confirmed. Please be a river map. Yeah, I agree. Also, our, um... Yeah, our, our bot has been down a little bit here and there. I'll check back in like uh, 20 or 30 minutes and see if we can kickstart it awake again. Do you think you'll be able to build walled towns? There are ways to kind of cheese it to do that, but uh, we'll talk about that soon. I'll have a, a basic tutorial video out today uh, speaking about a lot of your frequently asked questions. And I'll have an advanced tutorial out like the day after talking about some of that stuff too and kind of how to do that. But if you want the uh, if you want the real answer on how to do that now, and this could change, maybe the developer will patch this. But basically, what you need to do is if you put your if you leave space in your town for a manor, and then you put your manor in the middle of the town, there is a way to kind of build a wall around your town. But the thing about that is, once you kind of wall off your town, you're kind of like constricting its growth, so it makes it a lot harder to like you know branch out and spread out a little bit and add stuff. So you can do it, but then it's like. Um, you know, it's like you're uh, giving a, uh, a plant a small plot to grow in, or a small pot. You know, you're going to kind of like um, stop it from reaching its full potential. Live stream game installs, yeah. That'll be a new category on Twitch. Long time follower on YouTube, what's your honest opinion on fa Falling Frontier? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I uh, I hope there's a demo soon. I mean, I, I, I put videos on YouTube all the time about it whenever there's some major new gameplay or something. It's always exciting to cover it. music so pretty bum, bum. how does this compare to farthest frontier it's the same it's a medieval ish city builder with uh, battles and yet it's very different at the same time the premise and the concept are kind of the same the stories are slightly different but even though the games look very different they they in my mind, I've been able to build a city like this that looks this beautiful because of Farthest Frontier. It's really made me care a lot more about details. Wow, look at that. We're getting those tier triples. Let's go. Triple tier. Oh, can we buy another horse? Not yet. we got to wait. Oh, 15 days. Two weeks to go. Yo, Remy Ravenheart, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Greg is a legend. Legend con confirmed. Confirmed. Have I... Have I got the uh, soundtrack yet from Steam? No, I've been playing this game so much I haven't even like looked at <laughs> any other games on Steam, really, or any other products. Oh, here we go. Got these big tier triples being built. Look at these big houses, man.
Uh, I love watching these house constructions, especially every tier, honestly. Wow, and Rose, thank you very much for the big O super chat. Thank you very much. You want to be able to build forts if it's not already in game? Uh, your manor is kind of like that. You can build a wall around it that somewhat looks like a fort. That's pretty cool. Yo, guys, thanks for the follows and the subs. Thank you, guys. That's crazy. 26th and April will be like a Black Friday super sale. Yeah. Everyone rushes to get the game and crashes Steam Ooh. sales line. Smiley face and good morning, Raptor. I wonder if that'll happen. Dude, if Steam crashes, that would be legendary. Legendary. Imagine. Of the, like, 2.5, I think it is, million, probably more now, uh, wish lists. A million people are going to go buy this game. Like, day one. Yeah, there's military structures. Eventually, though, uh, they don't have everything here. No stables for cavalry. Uh, there's no, like, archery or... Uh, there's no, like, training areas yet. But uh, all that stuff will come in the future. I, uh, I know that this is a city builder with military stuff in it, but if they add those things, it'll be really cool. Yay. All right, I think we got to upgrade one more house after this one. It should be 14, yeah. Oh, actually, 15 should be right here. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem with the game. Uh, some of the houses are a little thick. So this... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this guy's outhouse for his house is literally on the road. Wow, that is a Chad move. Wow. That is asserting dominance right there. Oof. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these tier three should probably be built on a straight road like this, not on those corners. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Note, note to self. Uh, yeah. Put those on a. Maybe it's a good idea to actually do a gridiron a little bit for buildings like that. Because these tier threes look great. These look really good. Um, but that one, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's okay, it's funny. Oh, this dude's claiming another territory, dude? Bro, this, oh, this guy's... Okay, he's going down. We're going to start fighting for territory. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, welcome aboard, CGM. Good to see you. What's up, the Dakilla? Nerdapalooza, 21 months. Three months more to the blue eye. Congratulations. And Twitch subs... You guys now have new emotes and uh, badges next to your name, and I'm working on more. Hell yeah! Medvedi Mesto now has itself a uh, new uh, new point. Oh, we reached the maximum settlement level. All right. This town is maxed out now. We can start focusing on uh, expanding a little bit. All right. I got four points to spend, man. I think I'm going to do uh, one, two into honey and advanced beekeeping for money. Then... Deep mining, that's three. 
And then maybe... Maybe I'm going to cultivate rye. I don't know. We'll see. I still haven't decided. And I've, I've almost got housing for a hundred different families. Almost. That's crazy. What's our tax rate right now? Actually, I think I turned taxes off so we could grow our town. What happened? Oh. I thought our manor disappeared. The roof, the roof I thought was the snow. Well, let's try to earn something. 3% taxes. Alright, good. Yeah, I know. The the gridiron, yeah, we don't want to do that, but uh, it seems like these houses turned out really nice that way. The, the big ones. But the burgage plots look better when they're not that way. Gonna be time to grow that military now. What do we got for shoes? 22. Okay. Are these filled? I'm waiting for these houses to become occupied so I can start doing... Um, I want to do goats and things like that. Goat pens. We can get hides. That means more shoes. Means more money, which means we buy more weapons. Yeah. Irrigation seems more important than rye. Yeah, well, it only seems to prevent against uh, drought, which I've never seen in this game yet. This dramatically lowers the amount of damage caused by droughts. In all my time playing, I've never seen a drought actually happen. So I don't know. No, nope, we haven't upgraded the guard equipment yet. I'm going to get a little bit more money. I don't think I have enough money to do it all yet. I'm going to try to get, like, maybe close to 2,000 bucks. Where's this guy going? He's leaving. All right. The highest profit crop in the game is these. These what? These nuts got them? <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good to see you all in the chat. Yeah, th there, I think there's a reason to build these uh, burgage plots kind of uh, long and narrow. If you know you're going to do like chickens and um, like tier two. Like you could build uh, small and narrow if you're going to do like a... Um, if you know you're going to make like a Fletcher or a Cobbler or stuff. Like there are some houses you want to leave tier two. Like not every house should be tier three is what I'm saying. Like, you could totally do that. We could do a, totally do a tier 3 burgage plot with the crop farm, but I, it kind of just looks a little weird. And it holds extra families, so, you know, you, you might not want that population there, anyway. Yeah, you can only build orchards at homes, yeah. I've got a couple of apple farms just to see how they work. And I'm trying to give my people every sort of food I can to keep everybody happy. Uh, when we try... I'm going to try to get the population up so we can start farming. I don't have enough people yet to farm. Um, I think we need, like... I'm going to hope to at least get, like, maybe 18 people. Try to put some in farming. Then I'll need, like, a communal oven, which I think we should probably make then. And actually, then we can put a... Uh, then we can have the granary come get that. We'll see if that's more more than enough work for it. Although I'd rather put the bakery in town. But we'll see. We got so much more space to expand. Here. And here, for sure. And, and definitely... 
uh, here around the church. Lovely song. What's a beard lasers? Yeah, that music, I know. I know. Ooh, 59 ale, good. No, the enemy's not claiming the middle. I'm probably going to, before I like try to take back his territories, I'm going to claim the middle and build here. My thought is that if we could build here, then it serves as a jump off point to invade every single territory that he could capture. So we're going to do that. We're going to expand and then fortify. Yeah, the music changes a little bit when you progress, yeah. Like at the very beginning, it only plays certain songs, but when you upgrade your town, I think, to tier 2 or 3... Then it blows up. It gets good. Future city expansion. Maybe not that much. We're out of leather. Let's start importing that. Sure, we always have leather. We have to buy a trade route for each city, too. Uh, music reminds you of the Witcher Saga? True. Can you connect the cities? Um, I think so. If you build close enough to a border, you might be able to... I don't know if you could... I don't think you could build a road over the border. No. But you could build it close enough to where... Yeah, there, there's kind of a way you could kind of do that, yeah. You could definitely build a mega city. What's the name of the town? It's at the top. Medvedi Mesto. Is there a different difficulty system to the game other than the three modes? Yeah. There's uh, the three modes, which kind of have their own difficulty baked in. And then there's like three modes that are called like difficult, like standard, or, like easy, standard, and difficult. And then you can also customize a bunch of options to make it even more difficult. So lots of different ways to customize the your playthrough. When is the review embargo lifted? That's on the 24th of April. So start, wait for your uh, worth of buys. Is this game good? Is this game worth it videos on that day? I think it'll be mostly thumbs up with a few, you know, things that are like, hey, this, here's a few things that are a little weird, but 
you know, I don't think people care. I think people see this as a... I think, I think honestly, this game's success is not only because it's so cool, but because we're all exhausted of just, like, uh, Ubisoft and other people just pulling uh, the crew out of people's libraries and just smacking customers in the face. I think everybody's just kind of tired of that. I think people just want to play a good game. Without having to worry about... Uh, purchasing a game like they're purchasing a house. Where you gotta worry about all the add-ons and like... You know, it's like, oh, we gotta worry about escrow, gotta worry about the appraisal. Gotta worry about property taxes and all that stuff. And it's like... You know, this game will be a flat fee and then you, you get the game. And then you'll get an incomplete game that hopefully... And I think this will be the case. That just gets better with time. Not uh, somebody sneaking into your computer at night and ripping out something that you paid for. We really got to. We really got to take a stand against that. Companies remember, they will do everything that they can legally get away with. They don't care, Un unless unless people go to Twitter to bitch. Then they'll do the background where the, it's the black background with the white text that says, you know, here it. Here at Corporation, we're committed to... Burr, 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 we missed the mark. Burr, 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 committed to excellent. Burr, 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 burr. And, you know, don't don't fall for that crap. Look for, expect, and uh, surround yourself with results and passion and positivity. Don't fall for the... Don't fall for that. How games used to be, yeah, made by gamers for gamers. Yeah, a lot of games just used to be people, like, thinking about how cool a board game would be on a computer. <laughs> Dude, I, I watched a video the other day, one of the most beautiful videos that I've seen in a long time. I, I was like, I was, I was actually screaming at my screen. I, I was in the living room, and I was like, Dude, that, that's a hero. I was just talking to myself. I was, that guy, that's, that's, that's an American hero right there. There's a, there's a YouTuber out there called... Uh, I think it's the video game historian. His name is Norman Caruso. If you know him, he recently dropped a video on the Oregon Trail. And it was extra passionate for me because I'm from Minnesota. And a bunch of Minnesota teachers back in like the 70s made a game called Oregon, which eventually became Oregon Trail. These dudes made a game for essentially a Minnesotan kids to learn about the Oregon Trail. That then blew up and went nationwide in, in the United States and was used as a teaching tool. This game has made like half a billion dollars worldwide. Uh, you know, when the, they sold the rights and stuff like that and did some th things through different corporations or whatever. It left the school system and became a corporation. And long story short, these dudes walked away from like, you know, millions and millions of dollars. And all they got was like a, uh, in 1994 or something like that. They, they had a ceremony thanking them, and they got like a, a, a t-shirt or a jacket or something with the Oregon Trail logo on it and a copy of Oregon Trail 2. That's all these dudes ever made from it. All they wanted to do was teach, and these dudes are still teaching to this day. Some of them are retired or whatever. But, damn it, those were dudes who were passionate about mathematics, education, and games, and they just made games. Bro, these dudes unintentionally made, like, the darkest dungeon, but for kids. These dudes made... Nobody mentioned it, but these dudes made a roguelite game. You, t you take a bunch of characters, the banker, the farmer, whatever. You load up with a bunch of random supplies. You hit the road. You got to do hunting. You got to, you know, worry about dysentery. You got to eat a certain number of food. You got to travel at a certain pace. These dudes made a roguelite game that every damn kid in the country has played. Nobody, nobody even thinks about that. These dudes made one of the most popular games in the United States. <laughs> Up until, like, Minecraft and Fortnite. And nobody thinks about it. Those are heroes, dude. Th those dude, Like, bro, we got statues of, like, Thomas Edison and, like, uh, Teddy Roosevelt and stuff. Where are these dudes' statues? Where the hell? Dude, bro. Build a statue for these dudes. These guys wanted nothing in return to take their expertise to program a game in compu on computers that used to be the size of a room. That took like, you know, 40 people to keep running. And it had like 4, gig, uh, four kilobytes of memory. <laughs> like, the, these are champions, dude. Give those dudes a... Uh, that th Those are the dudes who deserve parades. Teachers who are just like asking for nothing in return. Other than like, you know, the money to make something that then... 
teaches something on a whole new level. Bro. I mean, I don't... I mean, when, when those dudes walk into a Denny's, it should be a standing ovation. I mean, I, I don't care where these guys are. Not enough praise. Not enough praise. So I'm glad that Norman uh, interviewed all these guys. And you can just you can just tell these dudes are just passionate to their heart of just teaching, education, mathematics. But more importantly, these dudes were gamers before they even knew they were gamers. <laughs> it's just amazing. It was like, yeah, we thought it'd be fun to program a game. So we took nine days. Uh, we didn't sleep for nine days straight. We just programmed a game. Do you know how hard programming is in general, let alone the, these dudes, like, doing it where they had to, like, look at the code on, like, literally, uh, what, what do they call that thing? Dot matrix paper? I mean, they, they called these, they called the paper that they made the original game on, like, that it's, like, written on, that they had to type in, they, they wrote it on a computer, and instead of, like, you know, uploading the file to the cloud, they, these dudes had to print off a box of paper and then type it in absolutely correct with, like, no extra commas or anything like that. It's genius. It's like those uh, ladies in World War II, or the ladies from NASA who had to type code that, you know, they, they stacked a bunch of paper next to this one lady who did stuff for NASA or whatever. The damn stack of paper that this lady worked on was taller than she was. And probably weighed ten times as Amen, much. Amen, brother. Hell yeah, brother. So all I'm saying is it's, it's nice to see people passionate about not money, but just about what they're passionate about. They're so they're blinded by passion, and uh, by that they can see something else that we all can't see. <sighs> sorry, <laughs> I had a moment there. I'm sorry. All I want to do is express to you guys how cool it is to be. This year, I've been just seeing so many people be passionate about things. I didn't see it before, but it's been so cool to see people, despite all the BS and the noise. These people are just cutting through, or at least to be told about people who once cut through. And uh, that's awesome. So beautiful. Yeah, they can see what you can't see, that's right. Or they, they, they don't even know it's there themselves, they just find something in themselves. Yeah. Sad, the Oregon Trail uh, play website isn't working in Germany. Bro, there's an Oregon Trail game on uh, Steam right now, like a newer one, but the formula works, dude. The formula works. Thank you very much, uh, Breaker of Walls, for the five, dude. And Preston, bro, Bear Cub membership. Welcome aboard, dude. Happy to have you here. Thank you very much. You got to get used to not only your, only your games, Raptor. Yeah, we, I made this joke the other day where it's like, you know, when gamers are ready to move on, you know, when, when they reach the end of their, their life cycle, what are you going to do? Hand down your Steam library to your kids or your Fortnite Battle Pass or your Robux? Like... I want to hand over my SNES and the uh, shoebox full of games, you know? Not, here, son, here's my password to my, uh, to my, my Roblox character. <laughs> uh, don't apologize for the truth. I know. I know. So I got heated. Have I watched Proud Bavarian gameplay of Manor Lords? Dude, I've been so busy playing myself, I, I honestly haven't seen other people's videos. I've seen videos pop up, but I can't remember what they are. But it's cool to see so many people um, passionate about this game. Just just loving it. That's really cool. Did you read that Greg thought he'd get 15,000 wish lists? I didn't read that, but... Uh, yeah. It's cool to see. It's cool to see. Ah... Uh. Oh, yeah, and the new game, one of the filters is you can unlock the original game. Yeah, yeah, you can, like, make it look like the Apple II. <laughs> yeah, like the monotone green and black or whatever, or the, uh, like, the white. Yeah. Oh, PC did an article, did a game on him? Oh, really? <sighs> Your eight-year-old would love it if you handed him a Roblox account? Yeah, and I'm sure corporations will act quickly when, uh, p in a few years, when people are moving on, it'll be like, nope, the, the account has to be tied to a living person, a.k.a. We don't want you guys sharing things. Just buy a new one each day. Buy new all the time. Get get on the IV drip of purchase, 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 purchase. But don't own, just purchase, 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 purchase. Crash.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still got to play uh, Kingdom Come uh, Deliverance. I think they're making the second one. All right, sorry, guys. I got completely dis like distracted and I'm focused. Sorry. All right, let's get locked in. So we're uh, getting population up here. We could start... I think we're going to finally start uh, farming here in a month. We're at spring. March of uh, year six is around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard the Warhorse devs are dropping some big news soon. Oh, really? Really? Also, uh, I gotta play, uh, uh, what's it called again? Anvil Empires. I, uh, I, I signed up for the, there's like a beta test this weekend. I'm gonna try to get into that. Uthras really wants to play that. That's like, um, uh, Foxhole, but medieval is the easiest way to, uh, codify that breaker of walls this dude again with another big o super chat man thank you very much damn dude thank you everyone needs to watch the movie hidden figures mary jackson katherine johnson and dorothy yvonne and margaret hamilton incredible women oh really a movie called hidden figures all right dude yeah man we, we got to praise uh people who uh contribute in a way that yeah, I don't care who you are. Uh, Alan Turing, uh, is it Turing? Um, you know, all these people, you know, this, despite odds and, like, setbacks and societal uh, hindrances have just, like, tried to do breakthroughs through society. Hell, I, I still find the story of, um, the hell's his name? Uh, Louis Pasteur to be amazing. <laughs> Like people discovering cures for diseases just by accident. I always find that amazing when people accidentally find something. It's just like right, right place, right time, man. You were just paying attention. You know the the earth and the world and nature is just screaming at you, and you actually noticed. You know, it's kind of cool that way. Like who knew, man? Who knew? You're like the hill aspect of this town. Me too. You know, I feel like the demo had some more hilly landscape, but I also feel like the demo had uh, regions that were a little more, maybe they were smaller? I can't really remember. I really want to uh, compare the demo to this and point out a few things that I like, but I think most of it was just the, the map. Plus, we were all in awe of playing Manor Lords for the first time, like, what, two years ago? Oh, what a crazy time to be alive. I think we need to buy a horse now. Of course, of course. Got to get these rookie numbers up. I'm going to keep buying horses when I can. You know, actually, I, I should keep the uh, stable open so we can purchase a horse each month. I should probably do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Can't wait to play this game. Play the demo. Good to hear. Good to hear. Welcome aboard, uh, ODST. Good to see you. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube, so if I'm like, <laughs> if I'm answering questions that aren't written in the chat, I'm just responding to people in both. <laughs> or I'm on just some rant. I'm just screaming at the world for me. We're getting big money, dude. I'm actually trying to do things to try to buy... Like, I'm trying to do some irresponsible spent uh, purchases. Like, I'm buying tons of ale, which I can't yet make because I don't, I don't really have a lot of good barley fertility, but... Yeah, it's crazy. I think we need to purchase more berries. I'm 
purchase. Let's do 75. Damn, look at the convoys coming into town. Look at this. Damn, dude, look at that. <laughs> Tucker hat, brother. Hell yeah, brother, we're doing some hauling and balling, brother. Big O convoy. All right, so our goal here, by the way, folks, is going to be... Uh, I'm going to continue to go out and crush bandit camps whenever we can during the, the warm months and see if we can keep building up our... Uh, our uh, let's just call it gold reserves, like our treasury money. And... Um, then I'm going to try to capture this county in the middle. This dude has taken all these counties, and we gotta we got to start pushing back. we got to start pushing back. Oh yeah, our bot is down. Yeah, let me let me try to fix that again. Uh, there's a really helpful informational bot that uh, being weird. It was giving me problems yesterday too. Hopefully that kicks it into gear. Otherwise, uh, chat, make sure you check that FAQ down below, and I'll also have some tutorials up, which will answer a lot of questions about the game. Um, not only on how to do things, but like it'll answer whether or not a feature is available or if it's coming soon, that kind of thing. I, my video today. I think it's about an hour and a half, and I realized while I was editing it, editing it, I was like, this is too long. But if I cut it down, then it defeats the point of a tutorial, especially for beginners, because I want to go slow, treat people as if it's their first city builder, and just try to be really encouraging to people and just be like, come on, you could do it. Like, you know, I was trying to be Bob, Bob Ross, the city builders, just being like, you know, ha happy little, you know, you can make a little ha happy little village. Sorry, did I say Bob Ross? I meant Robert... Robert Moss is what I meant to say. Oh, this song, though. <sighs> Every city builder I played in the past two years, I go to this channel for the tutorial. Wow, damn. I got a lot on uh, another game called Farthest Frontier. Tutorials are fun to make. I don't know why. Uh, you know, tutorials are often, like, maybe stating the obvious, but it shows people... Yeah, I mean, you know, you can drive three or four different cars and they all have the same features that they all kind of, they can all work a little different. You know, the certain buttons are in just different spots, but uh, I don't know. It's exciting to make those videos. A <laughs> bear with sunglasses, lol. <laughs> Use the gameplay videos to decide if you want to purchase a game. Yeah, that makes sense, for sure. You're looking forward to this game? Super excited? Good. Good. Dude, this song, though, listen, just listen to this song, dude. This one's just popping off. Give me more strings.
A little well there for fire prevention. Just in case. That's fine. Generic storage is full. No. 190 out of 2,500. Nope. 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 Never be afraid to fail. Yep. Yeah, that's something that I think... Uh, Ah, Dwarf Fortress, yeah. Well, you know, it doesn't matter how you're doing in a game. If you're having fun, uh, that's the most important thing. I'm just waiting for damn spring, dude. I want to assign all these families. We're also waiting to see how many families we get for... Uh... Oh, there it is, March. I think we want to grow trees back as quickly as possible. All right, I'm going to assign eight people to farming to start. And we need to change up these fields a little bit. So uh, we'll start with the three on the left. And then we'll do... How the hell do you... These get changed all the time. I don't know why it does that. cool all right we're gonna assign eight people to farming we're now officially making our own bread although honestly I think at this point we can just have everybody uh, <laughs> like we can just keep exporting weapons You wish we could play this now? Not long now. Not now. Not long now. Uh, yeah, uh, wells, can they be upgraded? Good question. I don't think so. No. No current upgrade for wells. Also, they're just for fire prevention. Or, rather, for putting out fires. After they burst into flame. What's up, Jake? Good to see you. Adding Viking Invasion. Yeah, Viking... Uh, ver well, so many mods for this would just be awesome. Ancient Japan. Something to do with Vikings. Yeah. All of them would be fascinating. Alright, well, I think we just gotta wait for this town to grow naturally on its own. Um, we just gotta make sure we appease the needs. And avoid the Noid. Apples I think we could do a little bit more on. We're also growing apples, but can't grow enough until we get more people in the town. Let's pop that up to 50. Looks like people eat the fruits very quickly. Berries and apples seem to be the lowest. I wonder if that there's a reason for that. We'll also do honey, but I'm going to do that later. I'm going to spend all my points later. I just want to get the population up. 
Well, I think the limit of a population of a village is just how many houses you can fit in the damn map. Yeah, we'll have some tutorial videos out for sure, yep. Well, one starting today, which is going to be super um, basic, but yeah, it'll, it'll be important. Is wall building? Yeah, you can build a wall around your uh, your uh, man, uh, manor, yeah. Yeah, I, actually, I'm really excited to release today's video. Uh, today, I, I'm going to start putting a playlist together of uh, tutorial videos, including ones from the demo, which, you know, it, it's a little outdated, but I, I still think it might help. Um, but... I'm going to uh, make a playlist, and then for most of your questions, I'm just going to be like, dude, check this video out. This this is going to be a good guide. Especially for people when the, when the game drops. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, that, that'd be great. Yeah, that, that would be great, yeah. Thirteen days. We are all excited. Everybody better be excited. Lock, locked in to mandatory excitement. see the thaw here soon. Oh yeah, there goes the ground. It's starting to thaw out. Man, the mill looks really cool. Man, these houses look so cool. Are these tier threes too? They are. And we don't even have burgage plots here yet for some of these. Let's start making our own shields. Oh, we got plenty of planks. Let's do it. But then we lose two families. That's another thing you got to think about is when you're upgrading your houses uh, to a specialty like that, those people won't be available to work out in the town anymore. They'll be working from home on whatever their specialty is. So cobbler, fletcher, uh, well, anything but farming. Farming is a part-time part gig, <laughs> according to this. Don with the five bomb. Let's go. Thank you very much, Don, for the five gifted memberships for the Chatty Chatters. Thank you. What's up, Simba? Welcome back. Leather. Oh, well, now we got over a thousand bucks. That's good. Any more bandit camps? Thought we got a notice of one popping up. Hmm. Interestingly enough, they're all cleared out for now. You know, chat, before the, uh, before the game comes out, we got to play the uh, harder game mode on the edge and see what happens. I think that one's just you versus constant bandit raids, which is kind of cool. That that one seems to be more offensive. This one's kind of more of like a strategic, like, uh, game of chess or whatever. Or tic-tac-toe. for taking those counties. But I want to play the, uh, you know. I still want a few people unemployed to transport, uh, well, unassigned, to, to keep building. I think we still got building to do. Why do I have to carry this alone? 
13 spaces, we're good. And I need a lot of people for the trade post. I want I want to I want to build so much stuff, trade so much stuff. The mid difficulty mode is trying to take all the territories, right? Yeah, the first game mode is called Prosperity, just build a big o. Actually, we would have completed it by now. It's just to build a large town. And when you do that, it's like, you did it! And then you can just keep playing, um, which is totally fine. It's like pure city builder mode. This mode is like attack and defend mode. And then I think the last mode is mostly defend mode. I have yet to see that. I think we're going to we're gonna do that when we kind of get... I think what's going to happen here is I'm, I want to take the whole map and, and call it uh, GG and win. And I think I want to do that. But if we run out of time... We'll put this one on hold, or after release, and then we'll start a whole new game mode to see how it plays. Because we haven't, we haven't seen how that one differs from this. Chad, are you surprised? I'm surprised too. It's raining. I know. Could you believe that in in this game? No way. I know. I'm shocked. All right. We also need more people to do iron mining, and then um, we need them to work at the bloomery and then the smithy. We need that going on like Donkey Kong. I think we're going to need another bloomery. One for the tools and one for the... Uh, weapons. Cool. What does manor mean? Uh, it's kind of like a fortified house, basically. And it's kind of like your castle before you build a castle. It's like a wooden keep. But eventually, I think the idea is to build up to a castle. Eventually. Families must be sacrificed for industry. It'll be nice to make our own bread. Actually, that'll save us money because we'll buy less of it. So then we'll make even more cash. A-10s? Yeah, we're, we're like one tier off from unlocking an Air Force. Yeah. Five days we can buy another horse. I may have gotten a little overkill with these trading posts, but honestly I'm using this as a test area to see how trading works. I keep getting a bottleneck with uh, too many things... Oftentimes, I'll, I'll be selling too many things and making a ton of money, and I won't be able to import enough stuff to like keep the city supplied. So I'll have a ton of money, and I want to like buy stuff to keep the citizens happy, and then I can't I can't buy enough. Like everything seems to go out but not in. Cheated him, never. Yeah, well, that's true. Every stream does mean we're moments closer to Manor Lords. That is true, Jackal. One step closer, one minute, one day closer. You know, Chad, when we get down to the last couple of days, maybe we should have a countdown timer in the corner. We could, we could probably do that. We're, uh, we're pretty close. Wait, what the hell? Manor Lords. Oh, also, another thing about those Tier 3 houses is that it'll give us a much more powerful militia, too. So we might want more Tier 3 houses because then we can have a, a more heavily armed militia, which is um, 
Wow, that's gonna be good. Let's actually do that. The higher level the homes, the better military equipment they're allowed to use. So, it, our people can use, like, sword and shield or spear and shield, but they can't use personal armor, and I think that would be a good thing to give them some armor. Need the granary to come by and pick that up. I'm shocked. This granary is completely empty, even though we've got a ton of food. It must all be at the markets. The markets have some storage for themselves, so... Bro, I love the markets. I love I love the fact that they say stuff. I want to I want to hear more yelling from the markets. Ooh, look at this. Pretty. And speaking of manners, you know what game I want to play more of chat? Botany Manor. It's completely unrelated to this game, but there's a, a cool little, like, um, mist-level puzzle game about planting flowers and stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's cool, though. You got, like, uh, that's basically just a lot of reading and, uh, what do they call that? Um, deduction. I like it. Hmm. Here after how's life, Brody? Good. Uh, you know, I honestly, um, I'm so excited that so many people are just like pumped for this game. It's cool to be a part of the hype and excitement. You know, just a lot of hype, a lot of hype and excitement. There's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement. Yeah. That's right. You sure Greg has a massive to-do list? Yeah, I think you're right, yep. Vegetables, get your daily dose of greens. Nothing's sadder than a tavern with no ale. Yeah, that's true. Well, we I've been... Um, you know, the, the problem with the tavern is that the people who work at the tavern have to, like, roll over one barrel at a time. So it does take a while for the tavern to get stocked up with enough uh, ale to, like, please everybody. So I think even if I was, like, growing barley and making my own ale, it would still take a very long time for the tavern to get stocked up so it's usually out so i like imported a bunch so that way you know that probably doesn't hurt like buy a bunch of ale at the start just to stockpile it and then just have your your fields like maintain it you know like import like 30 kegs or something like that and then just have your farms you know get the rest of it and then just replace it each year if you need to like just set a minimum if you're short two three four kegs you just uh, import are they working this field? They better be. Alright. Well, spring has sprung, and our military campaign can begin. And I want to uh, take that area there, but I want to make sure we upgrade our troops first. How is the game performance? I haven't had any issues to report. Stone Cold approves this message. I hope he does. Yeah, you can build walls. Uh, you can build walls around your manor. And then there's a way to... If you put your manor in the middle of your city, you can kind of build... There's a way to kind of cheese it. It's not intended, but, uh, you know, you, you could do it. Uh, Waldemar North, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime sub. Uh, YouTube chat, if you want to type in... I don't know if the bot is working, but exclamation point Twitch on the YouTube chat. It's probably not, but... 
Our Twitch link is down below in the description if you want to follow over on Twitch just in case the YouTube goes down. YouTube's been having some trouble the last couple of days with the streams. I, I don't know what it is, but it's been like crapping out and being weird. So if you want to follow over there, if you got Twitch or uh, Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime, you can drop your Twitch Prime sub off over there to support the channel. You know, you can, if you prefer to watch on YouTube, go ahead. And if you want to support, you can drop your little Prime token over there and then come on back to YouTube, wherever you want. I've been trying to branch out so we can reach more people and, uh, you know, try to, I don't know, more fun in more places, I guess. So, yeah, I think the bot's broken. I, I've been trying to restart it, but it was the same yesterday, too. So, YouTube's broken, <laughs> which isn't hard to do. Steam seemed to be being weird yesterday. Everything's Everything's weird. Yeah, thanks for your support, chat. Very nice. <laughs> Bot, wake up, yeah. Ooh, we're actually losing money. Here we go. Good. Actually, we should be gaining money, though, because we have more than enough products to export. So now exports are being a pain. All right. I think that was a negative, though, because we just imported a ton of leather, which is good, because then we're making a bunch of shoes. Oh, my God. Shoes. And we're importing a bunch of ale. when the demo came out. I watched her streams in the hospital, and you even gave me a shout out. Oh, really? The little Raptorian is walking now. Oh no way, dude! Really? Wow. Yo, Coca Rola was watching the Manor Lord's demo when his daughter was born from the hospital. Now she's walking around. Damn, dude. That really puts into perspective how long it's been. You were able to have a newborn, <laughs> and, and now, yeah. Well, by the time this game is complete, she'll be playing it with you. That'll be awesome, dude. 1.0. Maybe she'll be like eight, ten, or whatever. She'll be kicking ass in uh, in uh, building militaries and stuff. Hell yeah, she'll be a pro. She's probably been watching along with you. That's awesome, dude. Thanks for the super chat, man. That's cool. Get yeah, get them started young. Had the had the baby watching the streams right at right at the right at birth, right there watching city builders locked in. That's good to have. We got another city builder on our sides, boys. Another little builder with us. <laughs> That's awesome. Beard, Beard Lasers, thank you very much for the Tier 1 sub over on Twitch, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Raptor's Twitch handle is Raptor Raptor. It used to be um, something else, and then I, I changed... I don't know, we had to update it or whatever, so... Yeah. Yeah, just go to twitch.tv forward slash Raptor and then Raptoria. Basically, wrapped her twice with T O R I A at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sending Prime before they remove it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That could happen. Mhm. Mm Hope not. Oh my God, shoes. Yeah, we're exporting shoes. Oh my God, shoes. Yeah, my major exports right now to make us so much cash are like two big things. It's just like, I'm trying to export war bows, which we're down to 20, which is good. That's what I want to maintain. Oh, we're making small shields. I want to make, uh, I want to make big ones. I want to make those large shields. Make large shields, please. And then we can export, let's get another horse. Let's export, uh... Shields. Ah, whatever. I'll just hold on to them. It's fine. I don't... I kind of find it weird how we have to pay to make a trade route. It's not weird. I just don't like it. Not that I want it to change. It's just like... I don't want to pay the money. <laughs> That's all. Bah, bah. Looks like Austria from above? Really? Yeah, I've been to Austria. Man, Austria is so pretty. Austria is very pretty. You know, when I was in Vienna, Vienna's ridiculous. I I don't think I've ever been a, in a place, and Brussels was pretty much like this too, but Vienna was just like, all right, you need v Vienna, you need to stop. But Vienna, when you're walking around, it's like you you stop to take a picture of something cool like a statue or a fountain, and then as you're putting your phone away, you turn, and then you realize as you've turned 90 degrees to walk away, you're now looking at a new, another church, another statue, a city hall, a concert hall, all these buildings built in like, you know, 15, 16, 17, 
you, you, you can't. You, you can't turn around in, in Vienna without uh, seeing 68 buildings that are like historical statues. You can't. You, you walk a city block, you've wa walked past another 2,000 years of history. Or 2,000 years of like, you know, building stuff. I, it's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's how you felt in Rome. Yeah. Now I, I like saw a Mozart statue. I saw the uh, Vienna City Hall. I think it was under construction, or they were doing stuff, so I can get couldn't get too close. But I mean, just a ridiculous amount of stuff. You know, Schoenbrunn was nice to see too. But I mean, and I went to the zoo that's kind of next to it as well. But I just couldn't believe like all the beautiful church. Um, Coolest thing is all the roofs. I, I I'd never really seen that before in person. Is the the roofs that have like patterns to them? Man, I mean, churches to Europe are like Starbucks to America. It's just like there's a church on the corner of another church, under a church, on top of a church, in a church. It's like all right, you guys, you, hey, <laughs> could you stop having so much amazing history? Stop it. Amazing, amazing. <sighs> Yo, Minex Rose, thank you very much for the uh, tier one sub three months in advance. Thank you very much. And again, Beer Lasers, thanks for that uh, gift sub as well. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> yeah, Europe is pretty cool with that stuff, yeah. But yeah, Europe does have plenty of Starbucks. Too. That's right. Inside the church is the Starbucks, and you realize, oh. Don't I have European heritage? Yeah, I'm Polish and German, I think. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I went to Poland, it, I was eating the food, and it's like, this feels right. I feel like I'm at home. When I was in Poland, I didn't, I didn't really speak too much. Like, I was kind of like... I was taking it all in and people were like, are you okay? Are, like, are you mad or something? It's like, no. No, I just, I don't know. I was probably tired from the end of all my trip, but it was just like, whoa. Poland's cool, man. Poland is, uh... They're coming, they're, they're coming up with a vengeance or something like that. Poland is, uh, with, techno with uh, like, software and programming and, like, uh, technology, not necessarily, like, hardware, but more like designing things in the digital space. Poland is like um, Rocky Balboa coming up through the ranks, you know? It's not like they're fighting anybody or knocking anybody out or, like, competing, but they're, like, I don't know. This is good vibes, man. Your town looks nice? Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Meanwhile, in Boston, you almost get lost among the modern buildings trying to find Paul Revere's house or the Old North Church. Oh, right. Yeah, I think I saw the Old North Church, and I think I was a block away from Paul Revere's house, I think. I also saw the um, Massachusetts State um, Capitol building, so that was cool. Can you get attacked whenever? Yeah, yeah, you can. Um, the enemy will just launch an attack on you, and that's that. I'm actually, right now, I'm just trying to get my population up a little bit more, and then we're going to start taking this territory here. What I want to do is when I when I send out my troops to take a region, I might also want to bring, I might need more money in the treasury to also bring mercenaries with me. We might do that. And then I want militia at home to be able to uh, defend. And in this game, your troop, you can, you can make a lot of good military equipment for your militia to defend themselves at home, but they won't be able to use that better equipment until they're like the next tier. So we're basically building a bunch of stuff like that. You plan to visit Warsaw again this August for the Uprising anniversary? Hell yeah, there's statues all over for that. Poland was like... Poland was down, but not out. They were clapping cheeks, man. Yeah, Poland, Poland was... Yeah. Uh... Speaking of which, by the way, there's a great video on the channel for a game called uh, Aviators, which talks a lot about uh, Polish pilots and uh, the uprising and trying to supply them via aircraft during that time. 
Uh, cool stuff, man. Very interesting. Poland is your only visited European country by now? Oh, really? It's cool, man. Yeah, the mercenary companies refresh every month, I think. You get new... You get access to new mercenaries every month. But they're like... They're not really expensive, but... Um, yeah, I might need more than one of them. That can get expensive. How big of a force can I manage currently? Well, uh, we, right now, at our manor, we can call out 24 troops. Then I could buy... Uh, like three mercenary groups. So that's like one, two, three squads. Actually, three, six, nine squads. And that would be like, these are like 20 to maybe 40 men each for each one of these squads. So we, we could probably call out hundreds of troops. I probably won't need that many, but what I think we would do, what we really want to do is uh, like uh, push a claim, take a territory, and then see how that guy responds and then act appropriately. But the interesting thing about the militias is that they don't, or sorry, the, the mercenaries, they come in from different areas. So there's Hofstetten, uh, Zwao, or whatever, and then we've got one that'll arrive at our town at Medvedi Mesto. But uh, we'll get to the military part in just a bit. We're about ready for it. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just trying to get a few more of our houses upgraded to tier two at least. We'll upgrade these. Actually, I got I got 94 living space to fill up, and we've only got about maybe like 70 people. Well, let's go ahead and get a few industries started. Let's get people mining iron. We're just gonna get a bunch of the raw resource stored up. Actually, let's start with two. Get somebody at the windmill to start us off. And I'm not going to worry about the oven until fall. Actually, that means we sh probably shouldn't worry about the... Well, actually, yeah, we, w we don't need to worry about the windmill until fall. Then we can keep it running year-round. Especially if we got uh, enough wheat for the whole year. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I keep... Uh, I I'm going to have to uh, put that in my FAQ about walls down below in the... Co in the description, I don't know if I have anything about walls, but... The answer is no, but yes, but no. There's a way you can cheese building walls around your city. By, bu by building your manor in the middle of your town, you can kind of build a wall around the manor, but I don't want to do that because it will it restricts how big you can build the town without spending a gargantuan amount of resources. However, I should upgrade these buildings to Tier 2, though, because e even if they're going to be empty... Uh, because I think they'll... Well, once somebody moves in, they'll start paying the... Uh, not the taxes, but the uh, local tax. What's happening here? These guys have too much food. i got to build another pantry. The uh, These farms are producing too much. Where we're going to store our pants. No oh, granary. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I want to build another market, too. Maybe here on the corner? Well, we got one there. We got one here. And the market range is actually pretty good. How to build this village? Oh, today's, um, no. Tomorrow's tutorial will show you how I built this village and how to, what to pay attention to to make it look like this. I'm no expert or anything like that. I just, I, I kind of just followed a couple of rules and things just kind of happened. I mean, yeah. I didn't really do anything special.
Maybe we could put a granary here. I just want granaries to help those farms there uh, gather more vegetable. How are we doing with vegetable? Gotta be pretty good. This song, man, reminds me of like uh, Cosmo Canyon from Final Fantasy VII. I don't know why. It's got that doom, 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 doom. Got that progression to it. Red 13 gonna show up here. I'll build it right here. And we'll see if we can plant some trees around there later. Is there an instructional booklet to teach you how to play the game? No, there, there is a really helpful like in-game tutorial that you can turn on and off, I think. But there are only so many things that can teach you, which is why I'm putting out a video today for like an hour and a half tutorial. It's me mostly uh, talking to people who may have never played a game like this before, but really what I want it to be is more like a for everybody who knows what they're doing, especially after the game comes out, to rush to the comments section and give like a long, like here, like here, hey, here's five things that I learned. And, you know, I just want to hear people uh, maybe telling things to other people, including myself, that I didn't even think about. And because I've been playing the, the game the whole time, I haven't been watching other videos on it. So I'll, I'm in a bubble here, you know, I'm just doing my thing. But if you guys, you know, come out and you're like, dude, I saw Uthris do this, be like, okay, cool. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we ne definitely needed another pantry. And this is definitely a glitch. They're, they're storing small shields here when they shouldn't be. These are all turned off. I've turned off so no military equipment can be stored down here, yet they're still storing it down here. Like, war bows and shields our troops haven't even used. So whoever's bringing this down here is specifically delivering it down here. So that's that's got to be updated. That's a bit of a bug, I think. Let's see if there's anything else we can upgrade. Oh, also, a big pro tip day one is just hit to t uh, hit the tab key to see like who's where and whatnot. But I still like to do things individually because in my mind I've. You know, like in City Skylines when you can, like, paint districts and stuff like that? That's kind of how I've, in my mind, set this city up a little bit, block by block. So. Do I have somewhere else to store them? Yeah, there's a, um, there's a storage building here for weapons. They should all be transferred here to this storehouse. And I think I only have the two. Or actually, uh... Well, there's just... Oh, God, they're even storing weapons here. I don't know. I think I just allowed for this one to store here, because I at that point I just gave up. Like, whatever. Store whatever, wherever. Oh, look at that. Look at all these families go. So basically, the way it'll work is they're going to farm here one year, then here... Then back here, they're just going to keep switching between the two, so fertility can increase through f follow. Is your first storehouse and granary upgraded? Uh, this one's not, because there's really nothing in there. How about this one is? You can store 2,500. The, the two sizes are either 250 or 2,500. I think that's a huge jump. But it does take quite a bit of materials to upgrade the storehouse. But the storehouse looks really nice. This actually kind of reminds me of the one... This, this reminds me of the one you can build in uh, Medieval Dynasty. Uh-oh. Are we being invaded? Oh, yeah. I think this dude's coming for us. Oh, yep. All right, we're going to have a war. All right. We got four squads attacking. Two arms, everybody.
All right. Here it goes. It begins. Okay, we got a little bit of time before they arrive. And they're attacking from down here again. So what, what can we do to muster the troops? We've got 24. Oh, we could probably get chat upgraded. We could get the Knights of Raptoria upgraded to tier 2. I don't know if that's enough cash. Also, I'm keeping my tax rate low because I'm, ju I'm just trying to get as many people in as possible. So tax is low. It's really helping the town to fill up quick. Um, we could definitely get archers. We could definitely get spearmen. We have 136 recruits. Well, we can get um, 60 bowmen and 20 spearmen and then 24 of our Knights of Raptoria. Mm-hmm. Now, the faster we act, the faster we'll be able to meet them in the field of battle, and I think this is where we want to go. All right, uh, let's get the troops upgraded. Uh, I have two more spots for people to join right now. Next two people to drop gift bombs in the YouTube chat or the Twitch chat. I'll uh, name our next few nights after you. Otherwise, we got MPH Creations, Gordon, Exposed, Colton, Shoeless, Rogue, Devil Dog. Oh, I guess we have another one. Tiberius, No Culture, Nerdapalooza. Lubu. Oh. Looks like we got a couple names here. Did they not save? What the hell? Eh, we'll just save the other guys on break. We gonna die? We ain't gonna die. Beard Lasers, you're locked in, bro. Thank you very much, dude. Last call after this. We gotta go fight. Thank you very much, dude. And let's start buying upgraded equipment for everybody, too. I vote we panic. There's no panicking allowed here. Oh, look at these knights, though. Oh, and everybody's going to wear blue. we got to make sure everybody's looking good. Oh, look at that. We're going to get everybody upgraded. Yeah, we got uh, Sun Guzzi. Thank you very much for the Tier 1 gift subs. Marcus with the five bomb. Got to be first come, first serve, though, once I run out of troops. Uh, we could probably, when we capture the next county, we'll be able to get uh, 24 more troops. So we'll open up we'll open up more in just a minute. Sungsi, thank you very much. Got another one here. Marcus, Sir Marcus. <laughs> that sounds better. I'll, yeah, I'll even I'll even uh, drop in uh, new new subs on Twitch too. Joseph, Joseph, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, bro. I think we are out of spaces. Let me just check real quick. We got one more. Last call. All right, one more. All right, I'm going to paint everybody blue. I wonder why this guy wasn't blue from before. Weird. Bum, bum. Gotta give our troops that beautiful royal blue. And then we gotta buy everybody some armor.
Okay. And then who's armored up? Ford. And then we'll get to customization in a minute. I hope we have enough money for everybody. Yo! Breaker of Walls. Thank you very much, dude. I don't know if there's a character limit, so I'm just trying to shorten names if I can. Alright, we're locked in. We're, we're all full now. Thank you very much, dude. Thanks, guys, for all the follows, too. By the way, speaking of helmets and whatnot, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, exclamation point Instagram. Follow me right now on Instagram, because the uh, devs of Manor Lords, um, well, the publisher Hooded Horse, and I'm assuming Slavic Magic had something to do with this, too, giving his approval to it. They sent over something really cool, a frickin' medieval helmet that I actually uh, am able to wear, and actually has like a whole, it's the whole thing, man. It's like a, it looks like this. It's literally this. So uh, check it out, exclamation point Instagram. Oh, it's probably broken. Damn it, that frickin' bot. Uh, check down below in the uh, comment section on YouTube. I, I don't know why this bot is so broken. Re. Let me turn it. All right, we're, we're going to try to fix this right now. Stand by. Because I hate to tell you guys to put in a command and then no nothing happens. Then I feel like a goober. All right, bot is... Okay, I've turned... I've cycled it back on... Let's see if that works. Hopefully we, uh... Hopefully it's awake again. Okay, we're still upgrading all of our troops. Let's go. I think we might have enough cash to do this. Oh, man. Everybody's pimped out. All right, let's make everybody look good. We're going to give everybody plate mail. Or, I mean, uh, plate armor, not chain. Well, I guess there's a little chain mail. So, plate and chain mail. Can we give everybody, like, a helmet like this? We're going to make everybody look like that. Okay, so we want to change to plate armor and helmet like that. I don't know, do we give everybody a sword? That seems cool. Hell yeah. Did anybody here go to renaissance festivals? After playing this game, dude, I'm like locked in to go, go to a frickin' renaissance festival. Like more. I have a local one in Minnesota, which is great. Uh, but I gotta go to like other ones, you know? We're actually putting care into our army, dude. This is great. Okay, everybody's got the chest piece. Tavern banger. Get your flutes going. All right, body... I'm just I'm literally trying to make everybody uniform, I think. Just to see how cool that looks.
And this is all cosmetic, by the way. This isn't costing us any money or anything like that. It's all just for fun. Yo, Damien, thank you very much for the gift bomb as well, dude. Appreciate you. We'll get you on the list for the next uh, troops when we, if and when we can. Thank you very much. But more importantly, thanks for, like, uh, letting the community have some more emotes to, uh, to spend in the chat. Body, weapon, block. History of the short story. Thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership as well. Block. Oh, look at this, dude. We're literally making everybody uniform as best we can. Getting everybody locked in. Looking good. You know what would be nice is if you could do a, um, hopefully in the future there's like a preset that you can save that just, you know, you can click on everybody to set them to the preset. Okay, let's see if everybody's got the same stuff rolling. I think we'll win this battle pretty easily. Good, good. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you're lazy to drop another gift bomb? Damn, dude. Thank you very much, man. Chat's crazy. All right, everybody's get, got swords and looks to be like a damn halberd. Okay, and I'm just going to do a helmet check and... Anything that's wrong we'll fix later. We gotta get to the battle. Alright, everybody looking good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Helmet check, yeah, helmet's not a chair, get a hand in, you know. Alright, the invasion is on its way. So we're going to try to meet these guys down here. Where are they at? There. We're going to try to meet them maybe here. Yeah, like right there. So let's send out the boys. Oh, I have to... I guess we'll send them to the border first. Don't run. Let's get archers going. Archers we haven't really had much luck with, so I'm going to try to bulk them up. They've been a little inaccurate, so let's try damn near uh, 60 men. And then our shield units.
All right, it begins. Again, guys, thank you very much for all the follows today. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to all the new members, subscribers, super chatters. Um, yeah, everybody, thank you very much. Polish food in Poland, you just eat and eat. Yeah, it's hard not to, man. It's good stuff. Potatoes. Oh, these guys are running. Although they're told not to run. Why are you guys running? Wait, they don't have stamina? Oh, there goes the banner. Well, so long as nobody's burning through stamina, we're good. Oh, interesting. Oh, look at this. There's all your stats right there. Uh, moving downhill, plus one. In home region, plus 90. Oh, if we fight in our home region. All right, we'll do that then. We get bonuses for being on our turf and stuff. That's interesting. So there's ways to benefit the defender. All right, we'll let the troops get down there. Are those stats new? No, to get those, you just have to tab. But I think they should be displayed all the time. I, I would not not want to know when we've got an advantage in battle. Like, I've, if I've somehow put myself slightly on a hill, that might remind me to, like, you know, make sure we've got the more of the high ground. Oh, you can see drummer boys too? Really? Oh, here they come. Well, let's try to stay in our territory then. Now let's keep our archers here. Loot man wants that raise. How long till they get here? Forever. They're so far away. Well, it'll give our troops time to chill. Damn! Look at you guys! Damn! Chat looking good. Damn. Wow. That paid off, dude. Nice. Look at that, dude. Now, remember, if your character does die in battle, you will be banned from the chat. <laughs> it's full, full immersion. If you die in the game, you die in real life. No pressure, yeah. The Chad army arrives. Look at that. My god. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this, but our uh, coat of arms is actually on the flag. Which is pretty cool. Why didn't I use the full helmets? I mean, we could change it each battle. I just wanted to go with something that showed their face, I guess. I don't know. We can switch it up each time. Are they sure they want to attack this 20, 40, 60, 80 dudes? 
We outnumber them, don't we? Oh, of course. Yeah. They're dead. Well, uh, rip emotes in the chat. Uh, these guys are dead. So if anybody wants to start uh, making some tombstones in the chat so we can get these uh, graves made, that'd be great. Look at this. Dude, that is so outstanding. And the the uh, audible uh, chat from the uh, the troops every once in a while, like hold the line. You want to see the ultimate Chad move, though? Check that out. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like my speech would be more like a flight attendant, you know? Uh, we'd like to welcome you all aboard the uh, Battle of Year 7. I would like to thank our uh, premium members for their support and their extra kit in this battle. Uh, we'll be starting with the archers first. Archers, when the enemy gets, gets close, you'll probably have time to fire off two volleys and then that'll be it. But as we've learned, the archers seem to be more effective in melee than they are in uh, actually shooting. In fact, they're very effective melee fighters, almost too effective. Anyway, uh, a couple of you may die. Uh, if so, you're banned. Uh, so don't die. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it. Wait a minute. Sir, what kind of a hell? Sir, bro, did... Is that a basket on your head, sir? Bro. We literally have a basket case in our army. Great. God, I hope nobody sees that. Yep, get jiggy with it, guys. Yeah, let's, let's do a little yoga before the battle. Everybody stretch out. Yep, let's go ahead and... Yep. Yep, let's go ahead and... Yep, let's get that movement going. <laughs> yeah, it did look like duct tape on there. Yep, just shake it out, guys. You know, limber, especially the archers. You guys are, you guys got to be a little flexible. Yep. Nice to see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we'll see what happens. Addressing the troops. No, oh, come on, don't don't put the little things below them. There we go. No. Yeah, whatever. They're taking their sweet ass time. What the hell are they? Die of boredom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. They're getting smart. They're going to try to go through these uh, woods and try to flank us. Well, anyway, while we wait for battle, let's purchase another horse, probably. And what are we up to for horses? 10 out of 13, okay. Upgrade those. Oh, the granary finished construction. Hopefully that helps this plot not to get overloaded all the time. I don't want to lose things to spoilage. After the Battle of Agincourt, it's believed that the Longbowmen did more damage in melee swinging the huge mallets they used to drive stakes than with their arrows. The Longbowmen were very strong. Oh.
Oh, by the way, great attention to detail here. Uh, when you click on the ma when the uh, when you click on the mercenaries, you can just kind of hear them. Or sorry, the militia. You can just kind of hear them chatting. But when you click on your uh, retinue or your personal guard, you can hear their voice a little bit different, as if they're talking from behind helmets and stuff. You can hear a little bit more of an echo. Amazing. Alright, it's about to happen. About to have a battle, boys. Those houses upgraded too. I feel like after you win a battle, there should be like a positive boost for like the whole year. Like, you know, victorious in battle or defended the uh, settlement. But you do get a debuff for bodies. Like, if there's a huge battle and you kill a bunch of dudes and then like you spend the year cleaning up all the bodies, there'll be like a ne negative two on buried bodies. It's like, what? You mean all those dead bodies are us winning? Oh boy, now the music's popping off. Oh, and these guys are disappearing into the woods. Alright, here it goes. Why are we why are we getting a bonus? Cohesion. Sticking them together like that gives them a bonus. So our troops now are like 110, 111% more combat effective. These guys are 101, but that doesn't matter. Oh, they're moving downhill. Alright, let loose the arrows. Archers! Oh, damn. You guys die. <laughs> and they're immediately clapped. GG in. I don't even think we took a single loss. 30, 36, 24, 20. I, I think that's everybody. Wow, dude. Alright, yeah, archers did some work that time. We needed higher numbers for the archers then. Uh, but it did look like they had to hit this group multiple times before they started taking losses here. But it looks like they got hit like three times on the field. Wow. Dubs in the chat. Let's go. Alright, everybody head home. Good job, everybody. All right, let's get that corpse pit rolling. Uh, yep. Oh, we already have a guy working there. Uh, let's double it. Could not find storehouse for what now? Oh, that's... No, that's fine. Work area is empty. You mean that? Oh, here? 
I guess they couldn't find the berries that they worked next to. Weird. All right, wow, all of you survived. All you members survived, good job. And now we will uh, continue to build our army. Now we're gonna do more military stuff. We're gonna start pushing into Walbrand. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let our troops return and we're going to uh, get the troops set up to start taking this area. Now when I start to claim this area, this guy's gonna get mad. This dude's gonna, Jack Nicholson here is gonna get pissed. So he might try to counterattack us when we take this area, and that's where we're going to build our next town. So we'll be in between all of his counties, and uh, we're going to clap. So this is going to be awesome. So the battle continues. Uh, can't find storehouse for excess material. What? You guys have plenty of storage. That'll have to be patched. Well, we'll need more money to uh, continuously build up more troops, so uh, I think we'll just keep taxes right where they're at, like 3% seems fine. Well, he he hasn't directly attacked us yet. Those have just been brigands, and he may be, you know, maybe those are, in a way you can kind of think of it as like, okay, this dude is like maybe paying these bandits money to like attack us, but we can't, we don't really know. But he hasn't sent out a uh, paid um, mercenary group yet, but we'll see. Bum, 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 bum. All right, yep, another dub in the chat. Very nice. Drinks are on me, chat. Everybody head to the tavern. Yay. Actually, it's good we put the storehouse there because then we can store stuff from the mine, too. Skull. Wow, we have 72 war bows now. I can't export them fast enough. Let me get another group of people at the trading post. So hopefully in the future we get some decorate like fences and things like that will look really nice to like wall off an area. Or just kind of like, I don't know, separate things. Like the burgage plots look great by doing that. So that's cool. Anybody living here yet? Uh, nope. Not yet. Is it nighttime in the game? Uh, there is a day-night cycle that is purely cosmetic. So you can definitely turn that on. Uh, arguably, I would like a slider that let us set the time of day permanently. So you could kind of like... There's a there's a thing in Anno 1800 where you can make it like morning or evening or whatever. So you can take pictures. And that would be cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, we'll be expanding right here. We're gonna we're gonna claim that region right there. I think the longer I take to do this, though, the more time we get to build up our army. And I, I if I do it too soon, we might take losses and stuff. So I think what we need to do is just um, wait till the timing is right with the uh, mercenaries. If we can get some mercenaries that arrive here, like these guys, we could definitely take that territory. But I'm just also trying to get this town. Uh, much more populated so we can I I'm gonna use pack mules to start sending stuff to this town So once we take this area to which I'm gonna have to figure out where we're gonna build uh, Where's the road go? I think we'll build our town here. Yeah mm. Oh ah. Yeah, we can actually rebuild these too there's a mill in it. Is there good fertility here? Oh yeah, actually there's not bad fertility up there. 
Nah, it's still another area that's kind of meh for farming. Actually, it's eh, it's not bad. But anyway, we'll uh, do a lot of logging here and probably send back firewood to this town. So I'll probably shut down the firewood makers here, and we'll ship firewood back from the other town, and then we'll send over, like, bread or something. Or uh, maybe vegetables. Uh, can you rebuild stuff? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, chat was telling me we could, so uh, that's going to be a first, um, first time thing for me is rebuilding that stuff. Although it's kind of in a eh, location, but it's all right. I'll, I'll work with it. I'll work with it. I'll keep it right where it is. We'll make it work. So then the cool thing is we get to manage two freaking towns, which means we get to manage two different armies too. But of course, those armies can come together. And then around Christmas, we can become the Salvation Army. That'll be nice. Oh, looks like we're finally losing money. This is good. Means we're importing a ton of stuff. Got yeah, lots of shoes again. Yep, I gotta, I gotta start exporting those shoes. Will we have a group hug? We will, yep. Is there a memorial services? Well, there is a church... Um, and that will bury your dead. So if your if your village gets attacked and you lose people, uh, you can uh, they'll be, be buried at the church. Otherwise, uh, the bandits and people who attack you, you just dump them in a pit. You just build a mass grave and dump them. Ours is over here. Also, I don't think it ever gets full. I think it's just a, it looks like there's six people in there now. So they're 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 working on it. Yeah, our village looks great. The tier two houses look nice. The tier threes are right here. Tier three is looking looking like a snack. And uh, we'll probably be building more village here. I mean, th this town is going to continue to to grow for sure. Does the church cemetery ever get full? I think it's unlimited at the moment. But I think in the future there might be more reasons to build more churches, yeah. But I think the storage is going to be huge because, um, I don't know, if you play long enough, you're... Well, I don't know. Like, it's only been six years in the game, so I don't know if and when natural deaths occur. Could be 40, 50 years in the future. Yeah, this house here keeps losing vegetable. That's why I built that granary. I gotta put people working there. Oh, we do. Oh, they're gathering stuff. All right, cool. I'm gonna try to put more people in storage. More, get more people working on storage. Oh, good. We get to celebrate with Tavern Banger. Get your flutes, boys. So think of the other game mode then. We'll, we'll be constantly under attack like that. And I think the manor will be even more important because you can use the manor as a defensive structure where the enemy will, uh, you know, come at you and uh, attack the manor. Uh, no tier 4 structures at the moment, but they are planned. And I think I've seen some images on uh, Twitter. Yeah, I guess the only people we're putting in storage is that, uh, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the mass grave, yeah. Oh, we made 54 large shields. Oof. We should start selling those too, then. Export shields down to... 50. Yeah. Bows down to 60. I, I just... See, look at this problem. I, I, can't, I can't trade stuff fast enough. We're making things faster than we can actually ship them out.
Awesome, all these tier two houses, beautiful. You know, actually the tier two houses look quite nice too. They have like, uh, instead of thatch roofs, they have uh, wooden, which is nice. Yeah, we only got about like 70 out of 94. Where do I see this game going in the future? Um, I don't know. Just more care and more... There's a lot of systems that are started that feel like they're, you know, like 25% complete. Which is good because it shows you that there's a feature there and that there's something going to be added in the future. So, yeah. Yeah, we read um, at the beginning of the stream, we checked out uh, Greg's post on Steam today. Talking more about the game. Don't stop playing Manor Lords. I'm going to keep on playing as long as I can. Hmm. Oh, actually, this county has uh, lots of food. Oh, that's good. Lots, lots of natural food sources. How are we doing on tiles? 116, we're good. Oh, look at this, Chad. It's raining again. I'm so surprised. Is there a cap of manors? Yeah, there's uh, one manor per county. As far as I know. We're about to expand, though. We're about to take another county. All right. Let's do it. Time to expand. Keep our troops right where they are for now. Unless we see him. Hey, off a uh, professor, thanks for the two. Do I think castle walls will be added? Yeah, I think so, because when you click on the, the manor, it literally has a thing called a castle planner, and it literally shows, like, you know, stone towers, you know, like a gatehouse. It, it shows, like, a stone keep, like, right here. So, yeah. And, and the game also has a ton of stone for us to mine. And uh, some of the buildings require stone for their foundations, but like aside from the church, which you can upgrade to stone, and the um, like the man, I'm pretty sure you could upgrade the manor to stone in the future. So yeah, definitely. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Do a little bit, a little bit of decoration here. That's fine. Okay, we want another horse. I want more people in trades. Why they send it to you at the game? Uh, they 
basically been reaching out to content creators and said, hey, if you want to play the game, here you go. Now that's a town. That left side's got to get filled in, though. Right over here. That's got to be filled in. And back up here, too. But we'll get there. We'll get there. What's up, Marius? Hello, chat. Hello, Raptor. Hello, dude. Hello. Off meta, thank you very much for another two, dude. How much has changed since the last demo? Well, a lot because, you know, we didn't have a lot of the features from the previous one. We couldn't really expand. We didn't have military. Um, a lot of the houses look different. Um, I was looking at my my screenshots from the demo versus this, and they the buildings certainly look different. They look really good. The buildings from the demo really look good, too. It looks like uh, Greg has changed the style, though. But I liked a lot of those other buildings, too, so I hope they... Um, come back or something? I, I hope that there's maybe more variety in the houses that... I don't know. It, it just looks good. Also, there was some things about, like, uh, in order to build burgage plots, you had to uh, use tools. Now you just use money. But I think that's still being fleshed out. Um, upgrading certain things costs tools. And that's not really a thing in the game at the moment. Like, you can make tools and sell tools, but it's not needed to build anything, so it's just something you make and sell. So we got a long way to go with this game. A long way to go. Not enough funds for import at trading post. Really? Good, then do exports. Finally, we actually ran out of money. Good. Actually happy to see it. I, I've been making too much money. Maybe we could finally go down... Uh, candle making and see how that works what about um, well how are we doing with leather okay so we got a little leather shortage oh my god oh the hunters are hunting and they still the hunters can't hunt enough oh. actually I think it's because they were in battle that's why We'll wait a year and see it flesh out a little bit. Yeah, I'm wearing the Riker today. Or no, the not the Riker, but the other one. But I'll wear the Riker. I was thinking about wearing one of the two today. I went with the uh, Channel 3. <sighs> ID. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, YouTube chat, make sure you read that pinned message and make sure you read the description and make sure you watch today's video too. We're going to put a tutorial out which should answer a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, Emma, we've added uh, badges for everybody who's a sub on Twitch and also a bunch of new emotes too. And we'll be adding more soon too. Yeah, right, how the manor looked in the original videos and stuff. Yeah, there's... Seems like the, the manor is one of the first things uh, that was worked on. And uh, it's been reworked a few times. And even, like, castle building has been shown off in pictures, but it's all concept. I don't... I think every time that Greg kind of settles on something, he changes something else in the game and then thinks the manor is not, like, grand enough or something. To me, the manor is kind of like, you know... It should look... Uh, you know, I want to build a castle, so... You know, that that's kind of why I've just... The manor literally just looks like a uh, <laughs> looks like a lighthouse in a way, you know. Like I could see this on like the on the shore, or it reminds me of, like the forest ranger uh, like fire watch towers. Okay, we're claiming this territory. This dude's not fighting us yet. Hell, I may as well try to take that territory too. Although we'll need more influence, uh, maybe two k. We should we should have enough from all these battles we've been winning. Yeah, it looks like a guardhouse, yeah. Oh, good, we're losing money. This is this is actually good. Good thing about that, that it's like showing that the system's working. But we need way more trade depots to do that. We had a lot of planks. I think I want to make more Fletchers, then. 
There's a Fletcher, two Fletchers there. A joiner, so we're making shields. Two cobblers. And these guys can't do anything. It is now June. That's our apple orchard there. Was in the manor building where the Lord lived inside the court. Yeah, it's essentially our house, yeah. Oh good, new people moving in. Every person who moves in is somebody we can tax. Good, good. Good. If I upgrade these houses, though, we will lose these people to be unassigned for other jobs. We gotta keep keep getting those numbers up. Yeah, I can't remember how the uh, I can't remember how the manor worked in the demo. I don't remember. I can remember building the tower and the walls, but I can't I can't remember the system. It was definitely there, though. more Fletchers now. Or really, because people were at war, nothing was being made in the spring, so we're a little, a little behind. Hell yeah, brother! This is ours now. Now we can build here. Uh, in order to settle that, though, we need 250 gold, and then we got to build a settler's thing. I'm just going to keep waiting a little bit, though. Still got bodies to bury. Yeah, they only got 15 more. Now I gotta try to make a city that's gonna be just as cool as this one, which is gonna be, like, impossible. And yeah, maybe we can make a little market here. not need to. Whoa. And without people living in those homes, they don't deliver anything, which is cool. No wasted, um, no wasted space. Yeah, th th I think this market's full, too. Yep. Oh, we're actually losing money. This is great. I couldn't be more excited. Actually, we'll probably start uh, earning money when we finish the farming and stuff over here. Oh, 
Oh, they planted some trees. Step right up and what are we selling at the moment? Uh, we're selling shoes and bows. I'm also selling and buying any ex uh, excess food. I'm trying to keep our food at like a certain a certain level. If we go above that, then we'll sell it. If we go below, we import. How many horses do we have? Oh, five. Good. That's enough for two trade depots and half for a new one, so we need one more. Man, what are you doing? Lady, go, go on the road. No wonder the trade takes so damn long. I gotta start building these uh, pack trading stations too. Flute man again. Or maybe I'll build it up here. What is this? Get all the flutes going. Yeah, we're building roads. Roads? No, we're going. We don't need roads. Roads. What are up with all these rogue cart drivers, dude? None of these people want... Bro, there's a road there. Dude, where are you going? Dude, these traders don't give an F. Uh, they'll go wherever the hell they want. Like, no. I'm not taking that perfectly built road. Ma'am? Oh. She's delivering a large shield halfway across town. That, Bro, this is so weird. All right. So the, the shield maker works here. At this building. They could deliver it to storage here. This building's not even full. Essentially, this person needs to leave their house, take a right, and go down here. Or I could make a road there. This lady has chosen to walk down to the King's Road, down the road, up to the farm, all the way to here. By the way, I'm making money again, somehow. Of 
crazy. It's Mad Max. It's no rules, no laws. And she's on a mission. I don't know where the hell she's going. I mean, we had the one dude just walking through the wheat field. There he is. Oh, that's the horse. Bro, look at this traffic, though. We're going to have to set up a, set, a roundabout. Look at all that traffic, man. Well, it's almost time I think we start a new town. It's June. I think we can start at spring of next year. But uh, let's take a look at fertility. us to build a farm there. I guess we could cut out all these trees here. But actually, oh, I see. Yeah, perfect. We could build the town here. I don't know. More of a strategic county. Oh, we could also build there too. Oh, there's a hill. Oh, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. 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 Thinking about it. I just want to make sure we don't have people... I don't think it's enough time before winter. It's already June. If we start that, I want to make sure we have homes up before winter. So we'll start next March. We'll take that out. I could take this town, too, for 1,000. This territory. Split them in half. I'm going to do it. I'm taking that region, too. It's mine. Any bonus for building a uh, village on top of the King's Highway? Hmm... Yeah, I mean, your trades will be a little faster because they could just get right to the King's Road, but... In this case, if we do trades here, they'll basically just go uh, left and then go that way. In fact, that's pretty much where I think our trades are going right now, is down that way. Even though this one's probably closer, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just swinging left to go a little further. I don't know how it calculates it. Yo, guys, thank you very much for all the subs. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the gift bombs, exclamation point, gift to the YouTube chat, too. Don't forget to turn on your membership gifting just in case somebody drops a big old gift bomb. It's been happening a lot during these streams, so chat's loving this. It's good to see. Glad to see the hype and excitement, so thank you very much. It's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement. That's right. So thank you very much for uh, subbing to the channel, following. And thanks for leaving a like, too. That really helps the channel to uh, bring Manor Lords to more people. So thank you very much for uh, helping people. Mm, I think at 1.0 there probably won't be anything like a, a fishing or more in-depth trading system. Eventually I think there might be. There's definitely room for that and potential for it, but um, I think the uh, biggest thing is going to be like any sort of game-breaking bugs and things that find uh, stop people from playing the game or enjoying it. Are we doing any hunting? Yeah. What's the yield looking like? Oh, it just it just started to grow. Oh, this map is plenty big, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna take. Uh, if you do if you do this nice and slow, it's gonna take hundreds of hours to take that. But I think we will get bigger maps when cavalry is the thing. Otherwise, your troops all have to walk on foot now, and it's kind of takes a long time to to get across the map. Yeah, we uh, read our, uh, the uh, developer posted something on Steam, and we read that at the start about uh, expectations and such. It was cool. Colorado, thank you very much for the 31 months as a Raptor Plus. What up, Raptor and chat? Loving all your Manor Lords content. Loving you guys watching. I, I'm really happy that so many people are excited for the game. There's like extra hype and excitement. Uh, so much so it's almost scary. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. That's right. Yeah, this morning we went over the Steam store page stuff for the game. And it looks like there's a lot of hype and excitement. Almost too much. No, there's not enough. Hey, it's fun to be excited. It's cool. All right, we got a long time to wait until this town gets in. Emma, you're three hours late to the stream. Well, we will. Uh, you know that'll be on the be on the report, but that's fine. We'll talk. Hmm. Not an actual Manor Lords fan. Uh, chat, remember the Raptor and Tights go fund me. Maybe one day. Hey, good. A, camp, a bandit camp. Oh, we'll go get free money. <laughs> let's go kick some ass. All right, chat. Let's go get some free money. I'll send out the uh, Knights of Raptoria. Where are they at? Oh, we were going to take this. Wait, we're taking this territory. You can't. Hey, you can't be in my damn territory. Alright, we're gonna go clean clean up clean up this town. Wait a minute. Did somebody die? Wait, what the hell? Didn't we have twenty Hold on a second. Wait, now it says twenty four out of twenty what the hell? It says twenty four out of twenty four, but then when I rally the troops? Twenty out of twenty four, what the hell? Couple people calling in sick? What the hell is this? Hello? Oh, weird. <laughs> it's weird that the number changed. Like it. Okay. We're 24 out of 24. Nobody died. That was just, that was weird. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go clear some bandit camps and get some money. Let's, uh... Send the troops. Bro. Look at these dudes. Absolute special forces, dude. Absolute special forces. S rank tier operators. Oh yeah, you can do uh what do you call it? Uh 
pathing and stuff like that. I just want them going straight there. Glad this dude's not challenging me for the area. Ooh, 94% approval rating. Nice. That's helping the town growth for sure. And money's going up. Good. Somehow. Trying to import more leather. When these plots down here get full, we're going to start uh, getting more goats. That way we can try to get more hides and then make more shoes. Yeah, our town is big O. Off meta, thanks for another two. How challenging is the enemy AI in general? Um, not so much so far, I think. There's certainly a lot of the basics there, and it feels fun to fight. But I've only been fighting... Right now, I've only been fighting, like, bandits. And I think the bandits are really here to try to get your troops up and level. Because, if, as you remember, these elite troops here are supposed to get lots of kills in order to unlock more expertise. So I think what the game intends you to do is grind out, you know, get your troops a lot of skills by just killing the, the rabble and the riffraff and the thieves and whatnot. And when they're done with basic combat like that, then you start taking on more, prof like, the professional armies and the, the um, mercenaries that this dude can call out. So right now, we've kind of just done a little, little skirmishing, but we haven't really seen, like, a full-scale big battle yet. But it's, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Don't send your army for me, Riff Rap in the chat. You know what I mean. I got four points. I still don't know what I want yet. I think honey and then deep mining, that's three. Maybe heavy plow? Hmm. Maybe just basic armor making to just sell more stuff. I don't know. Yeah, like having a veteran's force, yeah. I mean, the combat right there, the, the what's there now is, is good. And uh, you can kind of see it moving in a good direction. Like, it, it, the animation looks great. Like, there's a lot of options for the combat, like, to be able to charge or hold your ground. I, I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. Um, you know, it, it's going to be exciting to see more uh, development. Do you know if the dev is open to community modding? Uh, I haven't really specifically seen something written, but it would be insane if... You make uh, one of the most anticipated games on Steam not allow for modding. But I think modding, especially with a one-man team, is going to have to be something later. Like, I think he wants to put all the things in the game that he wants first and then help everybody else uh, put stuff they want in. So he's got to kind of focus on his stuff first. Yeah. Yeah, I think one, once 1.0 is out, there's a lot of room for new discussion on stuff. Okay, so next spring, we're building a new city here. I think we're going to build it on this hill. Build it all around here, I think. This county's really small, and it's just covered with trees. So farmland and town. Could also build a town here with a church up there. Maybe that'd be better. That's a lot of logging to do, though. 
But if I can make a lot of firewood, I can just ship it back to the old town. We could ship firewood here and shut down the uh, firewood makers, I think. Actually, I'm going to have to start buying pack mules, too. They don't come with one. We'll get those ready for next year. For more frequent trading, build a livestock trader. Ah. That's right. We're a little ways away from that. Alright, well, we've claimed the last of the free territory. Everything from here on out we're going to have to fight for. So long as that guy, uh, you know, tries to fight for it. Shouldn't say the word fire during a fire... During a rainstorm, yeah. Okay. Where's our army? Right there. Keep taking out those bandit camps. Did you already fight your enemies or only bandits so far? Uh, only bandits so far. Uh oh. How? Look, th there's a well literally next to this building. If it, if it, if all these people can't put out the fire. I'm going to have to say fires are a little too OP with how quickly a building burns down. Especially with half the town right there. What? Uh, maybe once a fire uh, breaks out, the building's lost and they just have to put the fire out. Is that a dead ox? Uh, oh yeah, what the hell? Oh yeah, alright, that's the second time I've seen this now. I've seen oxen die from, like, lightning strikes. And we had that happen over here, too. I think lightning can kill the oxen somehow. Yeah, you know, this guy is technically dead, too. Like, he won't respond anymore. I don't know, there's something weird where, like, when oxen are near buildings that are on fire or get hit by lightning, they die. Which is weird. Well, let's buy another oxen. And more oxen. I don't know how that works. That That's probably going to change, though, because... I don't know. I feel like they should... Well, I don't know. If they die, it should be... I don't know. about to fight. Again? Another fire? Dude. Where now? Don't kill another one of my frickin' oxen.
Yeah, that's true. As you guys know, when buildings are completely soaked in uh, water from rain, that's when they're the highest at risk for fire damage. Like, you know how uh, underwater fires start all the time. This may as well just be apparently like, uh... Like starter fuel. Raining kerosene. All right, we're about to see another fight. Let's see how it goes. Kick these guys out of town. Enemy troops are on the way. Volcanoes in the sea, you know? Well, that's not a fire. That's like liquid hot magma. Fires from floods are the only thing more dangerous than bears. this this dude's trying to take the damn camp before I do I right, we gotta push Now we got to build a, a manor in the new spot as quickly as possible so we can double the size of our army. Let's immediately go to that camp right now. Not sure where he's going. You did it! Chat killed even more. Alright, so if this dude's got money for like uh, three squads of 36, we're going to need some money. more money for us now we're going straight home if they attacked me now would I be screwed no nah, I'd probably hire some mercenaries and we'd be fine okay, personal money that's my money and I need it now 
We can't even attack those troops. He's not going for us. Alright, let's head home. Well, we finally should build a livestock trader. We can get stuff faster. So now we can start getting more uh, more animals quickly. Oh wow, and now we're starting to make money again. I can't believe it. What do we got? Oh, lots of weapons too. And lots of shoes. Uh, does all your wealth only refer to the region in which you're currently... Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a thing called regional wealth. So this this region uh, of Medvedi Mesto, where we are now, has uh, like 2,000. This one over here has zero. We haven't built anything. So each of these will have their own money to trade with. But the money here, the treasury, that's... Uh, like a global currency now that, that we can use to recruit troops, upgrade troops, and that kind of thing. I think we should take this region. If we take that, then we just got them. Uh, we got them cornered. But I need a lot of money to be able to call out mercenaries. I don't think I can raise enough troops myself to fight him because he'll call out mercenaries too, and so we're gonna have to. Uh, It'll come down to a numbers game. So we'll have to get as, as much uh, of our own knights as possible, but we're going to have to fight back. camps. Oh, good. We're at 74 out of 94. 20 more families can move in. When you hear your family. Where the hell did he get a log from? We're not doing any logging over here. Hmm. At least I don't think. Maybe. Maybe there was.
Music is fire. It is pretty good, yeah. Man, we're meeting a lot of needs. Only thing they're mad about is taxes, but it's like, well, that ain't coming down now. Yeah, Bear Town's looking nice. Barely anything we could improve. Ah, let's see. Yo, Viv, with the raid party, woke up aboard. Thank you very much for the big O raid. Thank you very much, everybody, for following. Welcome to uh, Manor Lords. I don't know if that's what you were watching beforehand, but uh, yeah, this game comes out on April 26th, 2024. On Steam, GOG, Epic Game Store. It'll also be uh, free if you have Game Pass. It'll be on there. And uh, Medieval City Management with a bit of um, Medieval Combat as well. We're actually uh, in the combat section of the game now. We just finished off killing some bandits. Our troops are returning home. And um, once they arrive home, we're going to start thinking about... Um, well, we've, we've claimed three neutral territories. And now our friend here has uh, about five. So we're going to probably claim this territory down here and start seeing our first actual real, like, difficult combat. So we'll see how it, how it goes. You had hungry people? Oh, yeah, that could, that could be tough. Yeah, the hunger and stuff. Um, for anybody wanting to learn how to play this game, I'll be uh, we're also live streaming on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. So uh, I do have a YouTube channel. If you're watching over on Twitch, you can find that down below. I, I hope it's down there anyway. And, uh, yeah, so, or just search Raptor Manor Lords. And we'll be putting out a tutorial video today on some basic stuff. But we did actually have a really nice, um, somehow I, I managed to make a very nice looking town. So if you're thinking about, hey, I want this game, this game looks cool, uh, or just want to know how things are done, um, I'll be putting up a video today on basics. And then tomorrow I'm going to put up a video, a speed build, basically, like almost like 30 minutes of how I built this town, which looks like, you know, it uh, t takes about 30 minutes, but this has taken about 12 hours or more. So, I'll watch your tutorial. Does it cover farming? Yep, I'm going to cover uh, farming, crop rotation, um, also a little little bit on animals, but not too much because it's not really fleshed out too much for food. But um, And a lot of the farming also consists of, um, you know, not, not just the farm fields, but also you can make these little uh, plots into farms too. Uh, another great pro tip for everybody that you might not notice right off the bat of the game is that uh, if you make a big old house like this, you can reduce that number down to one plot, and then you'll have like a large area here for farming. You could probably, I could do this a little better to make it larger, but anyway, the game states that the, um, for the farms here, uh, if you're doing a vegetable farm, it says allows growing of vegetables, requires plowing and harvesting labor, but here's the most important part. It says that it ye the yields depend on the plot size. So if you make a big old plot, fertility or whatnot won't matter for, uh, for the village farms. So the, if you make a couple big old houses here, you could support hundreds of people. I got almost 250 people in this town, and um, that's plenty of vegetables for everybody. We've got... Uh, Quite a bit. I'm also importing vegetables just to make sure we're always kind of at the same level. But uh, I think this is the type of game where the more you play, the easier it becomes for you because you get you you, you build more things that help you. So the beginning is not not so easy, and yeah, food is uh, can be a real challenge. But yeah, combine all your resources. You got you know wild animals, uh, berries, and then we're farming too, and we built a a nice looking farm over here too, looking looking cute. You only use the farm fields with the farmland? Yeah. Yeah, the farming is... Um, and, and another thing to, to consider, too, is that some of these regions are designed to... basically kind of lock you out of using resources. Like, for example, here, uh, the word emmer 
is like an old word for wheat. So right here, we're we're doing a lot of wheat farming, and that's just kind of getting started. But you know, th this this map here, you know, it's like kind of fertile, but there's areas where like it's super fertile. We just captured this area down here, or we're going to capture this area, and it's it's like really fertile. So right across the border, same here. You can kind of see where the game, like, you know, it's like, this is okay, this is real good. So, each different region, and it's all randomized too as to where stuff is, like, you know, these resources and stuff. So, sometimes they want you to import, sometimes they want you to, uh, sometimes they want you to, like, farm. You know, it depends. Anyway, we're making a ton of cash on just exporting... Uh, bows and uh, shoes. <laughs> so, so I'm just using that money to buy the rest of the food that we need. And then that keeps our approval rating up, which means I can tax the hell out of everybody and then build a big old army. So very cool. But yeah, Viv, thank, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for the raid, too. And everybody feel welcome to, to watch over on uh, YouTube as well, obviously. <laughs> I would love to have you over on YouTube to watch uh, some of the tutorial videos. But mostly because I, w I want everybody to kind of understand how this game works and not to get frustrated or confused, but to enjoy. But the game does a pretty good job of explaining things. But everything could always be better, you know. Oh, good, the troops are back. All right, everybody, head on home. Everybody's on break. Chats just doing some mingling. Okay. How are we getting money again? I don't. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for all the follows. Welcome to all the new followers. Welcome to all the new subscribers, members, super chatters. Um, members thank you guys for the support okay here's the uh, goal now chat M spring of next year we're gonna start building on this town here I'm gonna actually expand a little bit in the meantime I think we're just gonna get our population up a little bit more and get ready to ship uh, and things over there we gotta get that livestock trader ready to go pasture and stable space Lambs, sheep, horses, mules, oxen. Well, I think I want to import two oxen. I mean, two two mules for our trade to the other city. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. We can buy lambs for ten or for twenty. Oh, and then sell them for... Oh, that sucks. Well, if you wanted to get away with um, growing animals and then selling them, you'd have to go down the sheep breeding one. Buy a couple of lambs, let them breed on the fields or in the pastures, and then uh, sell them back. Pretty good amount of money. 20 each. Not bad. I think you could do better, though. Yeah, there's definitely videos of people getting to 1,000 population. I don't think that's even impossible. Honestly, it's, I think it's easier now, too, because we've got um, 250 people in the town. If we upgraded, if we had all these houses full and upgraded, we'd probably be out almost like maybe 1250. Yeah. Faux show. Yeah, there's a lot of hype. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of hype, hype and excitement. There's a lot of hype and excitement. Hell yeah, there is. We're getting the mules ready to transport stuff to the other town. You're under tornado watch until 8 p.m. Ooh. All right. Hope it remains just a watch.
A Turnator. Nice layout, thanks. I'll put up a video tomorrow on how I did it, but basically, if you want to know the real secret, it's... Oh, sorry, I might cut out. Anyway, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's all about following contour lines. If you, uh... If you, uh... Hit R, or if you build anything, you'll kind of see these subtle red lines, and I've... I basically just kind of hug the, the rolling hills a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. That's all. Oh, also, if you've played games like Foundation before, this game shares a lot with Foundation, too, where you're, you're very... You're very much free to build a city however you want. Uh, of course, there's buildings are still built in like a square, but obviously it's very organic. You're wondering how your uh, PC will handle the thousand population? I, I think, honestly, you know, we're going to have thousands of people in this map. This game takes a long time to play. But to fill up the whole map with cities is what I want to do. And, you know, a little combat from time to time to spice things up, you know? Keep things a little spicy. Just a little spice, you know? Smidge of spice. I think that was my favorite Spice Girl. <laughs> uh, you're watching on Twitch and YouTube? Good. Good. Yeah, a little bit of flavor, yeah. Let, let the spice flow, that's right. Yeah, you can build walls around your manors, but not towns. Tavern's working good. We'll need a few more people in the town to work our pack mules. So essentially what we're doing here is we're getting our population up. And we're going to have a few people assigned to our new, what they call, pack stations. And supplies will be delivered here. And they'll be loaded up onto mules. And they'll be taken on the King's Road, which is a default road in the game. And we're going to bring them here to this new place and then start speed building. Now that we have this main city to support the other city, it's going to be super easy to start over. So once we start building over here, there'll be nothing here and the questions will come in like, dude, why did you restart? Is this a new city? Like, why are you doing a new build? Did you restart? Is it? Are you starting over? What happened? What happened to the old city? It's like, it's still there. We're just building like a new, you know. It's like in city skylines when you build like a little neighborhood and then you go to build something else. A thousand people doesn't mean a thousand houses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or, or like, I mean, you could have total population like 248 now. We could just, you know, get that up to a thousand pretty easily. Or assigned homes. Or assigned workers. That'd be a different thing. Apples win. We're already growing apples. We got them going. You know, kind of wimpy apple trees, though. Those take three years to, like, fully grow. I don't even know how long it's been. Apples look bigger than the tree. Tip the tree over. Oh, more money. Um... So, if we're going to claim this guy's territory and start going to war, we're going to need about 2,000 influence each time. Uh, we're gaining influence through the church, too. Um, the version we're playing is probably more than likely the launch version. But there could be a patch right before the game releases. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the developer's plans are at the moment. 10%. So that'll give us influence.
<laughs> no grapes for the wine. Yeah, I hope we have uh, more of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the next, uh, probably one of the first regions we'll actually claim will be this one. So that way we'll have a corner of the map. And actually, we should be tied up with this guy. He'll have four regions and we'll have four. No mules yet. No, oh, wait, we do have... Wait, surplus two. Wait, what? Current surplus... This shows we have two mules, but here it says zero. Maybe it's because they're not here yet? Oh, yeah, don't worry. This, this guy's claimed these territories, but... We could fight him for it. All he's done is said, this is mine, and so have I, but I'm the only one who uh, is building an army on the map. All that dude's going to do is hire mercenaries. We got him. Got him locked in. All right, harvest season should be soon, although I don't even see any wheat growing. Utilities at 28%, not great. Yeah, he's basically what I call dibs, bruh. Yeah, it's okay. The fertility's not the end of the world. We just need to make a little bit of bread. Uh-oh. Flute man. Wow, we can have 22 animals now. I think we're good on the oxen. So let's do horses still. Twenty-eight timber. So we'll like one logging camp full. I think fuel's going down a little bit. Battle banger, yep. Battle banger is playing. I wonder if we built a second church, if that would give us a double bonus. Church level, it says. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. That's a th uh, theory we're going to have to test out. Oh, this music, dude. So good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so poppy. <laughs> We're gonna have to build a, uh, like a rail yard soon. All these roads and horses are holding us back. We're gonna have to start building rail lines. gonna rain again it gonna rain
Yeah, this guy's going on a flute solo. Oh, it looks like we're going to harvest 86 wheat. I don't think that's a lot. Before we were able to, like, harvest thousands. Oof. Well, then again, on that other map, we did have, a, like, huge farms. Lots of big farms. Big. We can expand. Build a couple of couple of extendos. More flutes. Uh, let's see. What else can we work on? Make it another road next to all your roads, basically making a two-way road. Yeah, you can do that. I'm kind of out of space. Yeah, stone roads would be nice. Yeah, some upgrades for that. Mm -hmm. Age of Empires, good game. Hey, Raptor, ever been to Europe? Yep, I recently got back in uh, March, just before my birthday. I went to uh, Belgium, France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Czech Republic, Poland, and then I came home. But, Poland has asked me to come back for some reason. I wonder why I'd go to Poland, chat. I wonder what possibly, what I could possibly be doing in Poland again. I don't know. A lot of game companies there, though, ironically. I hmm. wonder what would possibly be going on there. Hmm. Oh, pierogies, yeah. <laughs> Have I ever been to Mexico? Nope. Not yet. Yeah, I'm uh, voicing Geralt in uh, Witcher 4. Actually, I think they're moving away from that guy. They're going to do a new character. Could be me. I'm going to be the voice actor for the city in uh, Frostpunk 2. Hello, I'm the generator. How can I help you? Uh, could you eat up? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Have I met with Firefox? The internet browser? You mean she Fox? No, I haven't met her. <laughs> We're getting money again. I have no idea how. Well, I guess we increased the trades by me building the trade depots. So we're actually able to export more, finally. Then we can start shipping out candles again, which sell for six. I feel like candles should sell for more because they take more to get. Well, not necessarily. Yeah. Generator noises intensify. Or I just scream the word Stuart a bunch. Stuart! I still feel they should have called us um, Captain. But uh, I get why they called you Captains in the first game. Because you were like in charge of driving the, the train down there or whatever. The road vehicle. And then build the city. Search for Poland bears. Look, I already know all about Wojtek.
I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet out though that I'm gonna go to Poland and I'll see how all the developers who message they'll be like, dude, you should come over and hang out. We'll have beers. They, that's that's what they're like. When I said I was going to Poland, a bunch of developers were like, dude, you sh you should hang out, and I did. I went to the developers' offices in Warsaw for uh, Chinese Frontiers. So cool. Ah, oh, Beard Lasers, thanks for another gifted sub, dude. That's your ninth gift sub on Twitch, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for all that. How's your generic pseudo-European accent? Uh, probably pretty good. Hello! You guys want to go down to the discotheque and get some healthcare on the way home? Yeah! End scene. It was me the whole time. You all thought it was a European, but no, it was actually me. That's how good I am, chat. Yeah, I hear there's plans for siege equipment and, um... Obviously, cavalry will be coming. They've shown that off, and castle walls and stuff. I think, I think everything will come to this game, and it'll just take time. At least in terms of like, uh, you know, ground warfare, naval and boats and stuff. Maybe not, but the good news is, is this: everything that's already here in this game is just in the future going to be fleshed out. Like everything here is good or great, so I think it's going to go from good to great. Some things. And most things, I think, will go from great to, like, excellent. But it's going to take a lot of time. And the developer will likely work on probably one thing at a time. Like, you know, focus on you know, trade, for example. Like, if he focuses on trade, then he might consider changing the trade prices, changing the building, changing how uh, transport systems work. Everything to do with logistics. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, everything's tier 2. These should all be tier 1s. Should these be tier 2? Yeah. I feel like those should be a buffer. But we just gotta get more people in the town. Yeah, there'll be a change to how mercenaries work. Yeah. Well, that's what's cool. Is that, you know, when this drops, everybody will be like, that's cool, but it could be different. And then the developers list interested in listening to what might be different. Be like, oh, really? Okay, what should I do? He's totally open to change, so long as people are open to being patient to, to like, give the feedback and then wait for the change. Game looks amazing, I know. Ugh. Remember, this is just an experiment. I don't like how that's laid out, but uh, I'm just trying to test how the trade works before we implement that. What else can we do? I would build the manor, but four families is kind of not enough to do a big old massive construction project ATM. Don't want to build any more houses, massive construction project. But, how do I build that new settlement? Oh yeah. So this is what we'll do. We're going to start a new city here shortly. Construction costs will be 250 treasury. Place it on empty claim territory in order to settle it. Gains grants base starting supplies and five starting families. Yep. We're going to have a whole new city to grow again. Well, all right. I'm going to upgrade these houses. Because upgrading those will get us a little bit more regional wealth. Which, even though we have a lot, I still want more. Uh, hey, Raptor, if you're an American when you are outside the bathroom, what are you when you're going to a bathroom in Europe? European? Oh, you're European. Oh, I got it. 
That was a legit question. I realized, I didn't realize we were walking into a pun. All right. European, I got it. I was expecting you to ask, like, about the wash closet or whatever. The WC. This song is nice. Uh, how many hours do you need to reach the point where you build everything that the game has to offer? Um, well, let me see. Well, I haven't built that yet, but uh, I could. Well, so if we're if we're talking about everything the game has to offer, I'll have to build several cities to have enough development points to build all this stuff, but some of these things are kind of just modifiers to the city. Like the firewood carts and stuff. I mean, I haven't built the workshop to make dyes yet from berries, but that's another good money maker. But I want that as food. Uh, weaver workshop. I don't know. I mean, it. every city might, you know, it depends on fertility. It depends. That that's that's a big um, that's a thing that really depends, because the malt house to make uh, ale that depends on fertility. The weavers workshop on flax. The dyers workshop on if you have a berry surplus. Yeah, yeah. You'd have you'd have to at least set, you would at least have to settle two regions, if not three. I think you'd need two or three major cities going to get all the development points to build everything on the map. And some of the things you, d you don't have to build, like, again, we don't have to build the uh, Dyer's Workshop, but it gives you good money. Yeah, that's fine. Another granary, though, for the farm. We're good. Bum, 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 bum. You appreciate the answer? Well, ha happy to answer what I can. A lot of the things, either I did, I, I played about. 70 hours of this game, plus probably another 20 hours of the demo. I'm approaching like a 100 hour Manor Lord player tier, but I haven't experienced that. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think half the things. I think I'm really lacking on the combat part, but um, I think that'll be a part where when we hit the combat, like the serious combat against militias, and, I mean um, mercenaries, I think that'll be pretty quick. Like battles are, you know, Getting ready for a battle, that takes a long time. Getting the population up, training the troops, equipping everybody, and then fighting the battle and stabbing each other, it takes... That's a blink of an eye in comparison. Yeah, yeah. You want to see more higher tier items? Yeah, me too. Uh, building stuff in this game and manufacturing stuff is very satisfying. Like, to build a building to then assign people to then start making bows and then trading that is a very satisfying thing. Look at that tree, man. Or actually, a little grove there. Beautiful. I just planted that recently. Is that a broken down wagon?
Right by the market in the church, very feng shui. Yeah, that's where I'd want to live. I want to be where the market is. Another family moving in. Another one. Oh, did I have a 100% approval rating there for a minute? Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, we could even start a town down here, too. I'm going to start thinking about where we build here. So I like the idea of building here. Where's that stream? Oh, here, I think. No? There it is. That's the water. Hmm. I mean, we could also build right here. But I don't know, man. Something about building up on that hill. And then... What about here? Hmm. First thing to check fertility. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This town is the this this one will be the most fertile. So this this one won't matter as much because everywhere basically counts as a farm. Here I think we'll farm here and maybe here. But we don't have to because we have a huge berry deposit and a huge deposit for you know, animals and berries are right next to each other. We can really live off the land for a while. Damn, I don't know. I'm still, that's still TBD. We're going to have to figure that out. This region we're going to take next. Well, our, our, our first one when we start being uh, offensive. And... That's the high ground there. Also here. Ooh, that's... Okay, right there, right there, right there. That's where the church is going. Yep, we're going to build in the corner. Yep. Do a fertility scan. Oh, perfect. Hell, maybe instead of even building here, maybe we can... Maybe I could take this area from him. And then... Maybe we'll have... Maybe we should build there first. Hmm. What's up, excess drum? Hmm. I I, I think I want to build there instead. And fight him for it. We could try to do a little fight now. We could do a little rumbling, you know. See what he brings out. I think we'll need more money for mercenaries, but... Uh, we could try. Alright, that's what we're going to do. We're going we're to claim this area in the spring. When I have enough influence... There's more bandit camps. That'd be awesome. Hopefully we get attacked. All right, as soon as... I'm, I'm going to build town down here. I'm going to take his territory and build a town. Insult to injury. That's what I'm going to do. That's a way better spot to build. These one I, I don't know about these ones. These are just kind of do a certain dump. These, these are a buffer zone. Oh, that's what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take that territory. Mm-hmm. You thought I was a lover, not a fighter? I love fighting. I'm both. Do I want to poke the bear? He poked the bear. He 
he did it. Not me. We got a plan now. Are we taking any casualties today? Uh, yeah, we've taken all the enemy casualties to the graveyard. That's where we've taken them. Mm-hmm. Look at that, 5K now, damn. Also, thank you. All right. Um, this is our, dude, this is our global command center. Check that out. Global command. I'm going to think about what kind of houses I want to build here, too. Yeah. Exactly. Although I probably need burgage plots because I want to do more exporting. Well, then again, can't export what we got already. We got two free horses. So I can do even more trading here. So we got another trading post up. Now we got three fully functional trading posts with uh, horses, too. Crazy. Alright. I hope I can get uh, all that XP by spring. And if we see a bandit camp, we're going to have to go for one. I need that influence. And or hopefully they attack me. Because that would be cool. Alright, shut those down again. Oh, how are we doing on iron ore? We have... 107 iron ore. Shut that down and we'll get those guys in the bloomery now. And we'll just have one family on construction. And hauling rando logs. Beautiful. All right, now we got a plan. I'm I'm happy with that plan, man. We're gonna build that big old church. I gotta think of a name for this new district too. Let me think. Do we do another check word? I'll have to think about it. I'll think about it. Corner Shire. Lol. District 9. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Any idea how much the price for the game is going to be? No, but I would definitely recommend that you, uh, if you have Game Pass, what the, hold on a second, what the hell is this? Do you see that glitch? There's like a wagon teleporting back and forth. Anyway, uh, I, I don't know. I could speculate, but I would just say add to your wish list on Steam. Like, make this game the biggest game of 2024 so far. And uh, it'll be, you know, free if you have Game Pass. But it's also on the Epic Game Store, so use code Raptori at checkout when you get this one. If you want to support the channel that way. Otherwise, thanks for leaving a like. Thank you very much for following. Thank you very much for becoming members. Thanks for all the the bits, the super chats, everything. I, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this and 
it's been awesome to be able to chat with you all about it. It's certainly a very cool game. Don't be shy. Yay, more followers. Yay, welcome. I think they've gathered wheat. Let's start the... Uh, oh, I, I need another person to start the mill. Well, we won't be able to do milling until they've they got to bring back all the wheat to the farm, and then they've got to start uh, thrashing it into grain. Do we have a discount code? Um, no, but if you use code Raptoria on the Epic Games... It, if uh, Epic Games is kind of cool because they'll give away two free games a week, which if you don't like Epic, if you still go there to get a couple of free games, that's like more money you could spend on Steam then. You know, like Steam has some pretty damn good sales for like, you know, $10, $20 on certain games, but sometimes they're free on Epic. If you get a game free on Epic, then that just gives you more money to spend on the Steam sale, in my opinion. And then, uh, you know, good deal. So if you download one of those games for free... You could use code Raptoria. When it says creator code, just use Raptoria anytime. Even if it's free. It's basically, you know, support the channel by me giving them a shout out. But, uh, and I, I think Epic's good at least for trying to make, you know, more competition. Steam's great, but hopefully Epic will make them more competitive too, which I, I think it has. But Epic, uh, Steam does some really cool stuff with those sales. I love it. But competition is good. And free is good. So that's good. Can we use <laughs> go code flute guy at checkout? Yeah, go to uh, go to a uh, hell's a good like gu guitar center. Go to guitar center. Use code flute guy at checkout. Save zero percent at checkout. <laughs> yeah, battle banger. Damien, thank you very much for the gifted membership. Thank you very much for your support. Hmm, this game has Lords of the Realm vibe to it back in the day. Really? Love hearing about the classics that I haven't yet experienced. Wow, we're almost up to six thousand bucks. Damn, dude. We're ta we're taking this guy's territory. We get we gotta fight him. I'm gonna need money for mercenaries. How much? How much? Ninety bucks. That's nothing. Ninety dollars. That's all. Is that oxen still there? Oh yeah, he's sleeping. A new family's moved in. Good. Oh, that means more construction. The boys are excited. I'm messaging Dirty Lumberjack and uh, Bradford right now because uh, tomorrow, 
night, we get to also, for the first time, take a look at a game called uh, Gray Zone Warfare. And that game's going to be... I don't know what the hell that game's going to be, honestly, but I think you should definitely uh, check it out on the channel when we play it tomorrow night. There's, there's a lot of hype. There's a it's lot of a hype, hype and excitement. It's a lot of hype and excitement. That's right. Those boys are really excited for that game. I think it's going to be cool. I don't know much about it, but they've been hammering my email with stuff, and they finally got us into, like, a creator build. So, yeah. Yeah, Gray Zone Warfare. Yeah. Hype and excitement, exactly. Yeah, tomorrow night, Gray Zone Warfare. A little, little bit like Tarkov, a little bit something or other, but... Uh, that's going to be a good night. I don't know what it is, so it's going to be like a whole night of them knowing what they're doing and me... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I've kind of tried to purposely stay away from knowing exactly what that game is, other than just knowing it, it exists. Don't tell me it's that house again. Huh? Oh. Oh, I, oh they, they're on it. They got it. Tons of people coming over. Yeah, Goof Troops getting into magenta area combat. I mean, gray zone warfare. Sorry. You're going to buy this game through Steam even though you have Game Pass? Fair enough. You know, get games wherever you want to get them. I'm I'm uh, I'm all for that. We as the customers should have tons of options. You're addicted to infection free zone. Yeah, that game's cool. It's got a ways to go too, but all the basics are there. guy's firing it up with that that flute No, yeah. I think the most important thing with this game is to continuously reinforce the fact that this guy has been working on this game. One person primarily has been working on this game part-time for seven years, and it comes out on the 26th into early access. And in order to maintain the quality and the, uh, and the, uh, the vision, that's not even what I want to say, but... In order to make sure it's what Greg, Gr everybody trusts Greg's vision, but we don't know where this is going, but we like where it's gone so far. So we just need to continuously tell everyone, be patient, be kind, be respectful, submit bugs in a, you know, professional and constructive way, and same with your suggestions, and everybody, cal you know, calm down, get ex get excited, but calm down too, and like, you know. It's like it's like lining up for a roller coaster, you know. You got a queue, you're excited, but you still got to get in line, you know. The roller coaster will be boarding soon, and I know there's a lot of hype and excitement, but uh, you know, after going on the roller coaster for a little bit, make sure you write a detailed report on your experience. Is there a tavern in the game? There is, yep. Let's go let's go down to our correspondent in the field. And check out the tavern. Well, it's raining now, so nobody wants to be at the tavern today. Well, what's this? Ooh. 
Wow. Oh. Oh. Berries, berries, bursting with flavor. Fit for a king. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. We got berries going. Bread. Cabbage. This dude's selling meat. Now, dude, tell, tell me about the meat. Give me that whole... Give me that whole venison right there, bro. Venison's good. I want I want that I want that wing meat. <laughs> Give me that wing meat, brother. There's a lot of A lot of hype. Okay, I think we're gonna shut these down for now, for a little bit. Actually, we'll cut back. We'll cut back a little bit. Looks like we're getting a little low on the firewood storage. We're gonna have to ramp that up again. Uh, no, no schools at the moment. we cross the 6k dollar now raise the army well this money here doesn't go for the army it's this money here but we do have an army um but our army is limited so we can only have 24 troops right now and we have to capture more territory for that and in order to capture more territory i need influence to be up over 2000 to claim this territory here and i want to take this territory from this guy because it just looks better also, claiming this territory and saying that's mine is probably going to bring a fight between us and that dude. And we're not going to be fighting bandits anymore. We're actually going to be fighting, like, a professional army and or mercenaries. And so the mercenaries are going to take a little bit more money from the treasury to be able to recruit. So we need a little bit more, little bit more money in the treasury, a little bit more influence to be able to uh, claim the territory. Things kind of have to be done to rules. We can't just walk into an area and say, mine now. We have to, like, we have to... You know, we have to register it <laughs> with the government. We have to pay licensing fees, extras, you know. This is a slow game, man. If, if you're here for Age of Empires or StarCraft tier RTS, uh, no. This is a slow-paced city builder that uh, has some combat in it. And I know everybody's excited to see it, but it is all about the build-up. It's like in Jaws, you know? Or a monster movie where you don't get to see the monster till the end. IRS Army, yeah. Going into another winter. Now, nah, we haven't really messed with the, uh, Lord's Manor too much. When we get some more population, I'll do that. Then we can get some quick construction. So 
Right, let's get these rookie numbers up. The cemetery added to the church would be cool for when people, elderly people, die. Oh yeah, um, the cemetery already, or sorry, the church already has a cemetery. You just have to hire a gravekeeper, for, a graveyard keeper for that, or a grave digger, and then they will. Uh, dig graves for people dying in the town, but I've only seen death through, um, combat. I haven't seen anybody die of, like, old age or disease. to do now. Well, we're at 94. Getting close to 80. We still have housing for like around 15 families. That's a long time to go. Cutting down trees up here. Clearing out the Lord's Manor. Something happened with my YouTube chat, which must mean we were raided. But of course, in traditional YouTube fashion, it doesn't actually say we were raided and doesn't say who raided. Thank you to the raider. Whomever you are. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. I don't even know. It doesn't. It. I. I'm not even sure. But we'll just assume. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> Good to see you. People finally moving in. Oh wait, these are the tier. Wait. Oh hey, finally. Good. Oh, we have too many shoes. I can't sell shoes fast enough. Good. You still don't understand how to get people to move in. It feels like it takes so long. It does, yeah, but uh, essentially I think if you get your approval rating over 50 or 51%, a family will move in per month. If you get it over 75, I think two families will move in per month. Uh, there's no, um, you know, reproduction or whatnot at the moment.
What's the incentive to get happiness to 100%? Uh, 75 is um, fine. Well, if you get to 100%, uh, then you can start taxing people down to 75. So if you've got, you know, if you got a huge amount of happiness, then you cut that down 25% with taxes, basically. How did you get so much regional wealth and wealth that's over the character's face? Oh, this is the treasury. This is through taxes, which is generated through approval. Higher approval means you can charge a higher tax rate, which means more money. You can also get money from uh, attacking raiders' camps, too. And regional wealth, I've been getting that from selling uh, bows, shoes, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm doing a lot of trading. We're, we're locked in. Looks like the problem now is fuel again. That's been a while since, since we have fuel as a problem. That's good. Bread. Uh, regional wealth is for local trading and also for upgrading burgage plots and such. Oh, uh, we'll have our tutorial video on all this out in about uh, about an hour. I'll be dropping a tutorial video on YouTube. And hopefully it'll cover a lot of those basics. And some of that's also in the advanced tutorial, which will be the, the day later. Uh, the regional wealth versus personal wealth is confusing. Yeah, it kind of is. But basically... Each of the counties, uh, think of it like having a, there's not a city hall, but uh, think about it as if each city hall kind of has like their own budget for the, the city. And th this is how big your city can be. Each, each region, you know, this is how big your city could be. So, you know, the more of those that you have, the more uh, wealth they can generate. And then you can tax those areas individually. It is confusing. I feel like if I made a video on it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't help. Wait, construction finished plot. What? Oh, the, uh, yeah. Vegetables so fresh, you'll swear they was picked this very morning. <laughs> More goats are needed. Can you raid resources from enemies? Uh, kind of. Uh, do houses not allow for grid pattern? I mean, you can kind of make a grid pattern. Like up here, I made a... As much as I could, I tried to make a, a square. It is wise to do grids for certain things. The larger homes are, are so huge that it, it's kind of smart to put them on a grid. So you got to think about doing that from the beginning. Uh, because then they just fit in nicer. Like it, it just it looks better. So if you intend to upgrade buildings in the future, I would say put them on a grid because it'll just it it just kind of 
it just works better. It just it it just works. I can't believe I said that. All of this just works. It just works, guys. But uh, yeah, for the burgage plots, you know, you want those kind of more on a, you want those to flow, and uh, you know, like you can see all the roadways here that we've made. So yeah, I'd say for, for the tier 3 houses, make those more gridiron. For the tier 2, kind of make them gridiron, like here. These are our tier 2s. So it's, it's a little more square, but still not. But for the houses you want to be uh, for farming, uh, throw them right on a curve. Yeah, 16 times the detail. My, <laughs> my town sure does. That is faux show. Are you able to build castles yet? No, but there is an option for the manor cult castle planner. And we'll we'll check that out uh, in our video soon. Oh, also I have an FAQ section down below too, so uh, make sure you check that. If you're just joining the stream on YouTube, check the uh, description for a nice little FAQ. How goes the kingdom? Really well. Look at that. This is a game. Can you use personal wealth to grow communities faster? Well, um, yeah, your personal wealth is required to settle new lands. Go away. Oh, and also you can pay more money. You can, when you settle new lands, you have to at least pay 250 and then you have to pay for like a little uh, like a care package to send to them so you can um, the more you pay you can have them have a lot more stuff to start with so you can give them more bread and other things like that so that way they don't they don't have to rely on the starter town as much but if you've already set up pack mules you can send over like vegetables and bread right at the start Uh, do you know how to make money on trade? You could figure out how to buy cheap resources and double the sales, then you can import anything for money. Um, well, it looks like a lot of the things that you can import, the import price is higher than the uh, export price of like the refined product. So like you could import planks and then try to turn them into shields, but I don't know if that price conversion works out. It probably would. Even though the math doesn't check out, it seems to just, it, it just works. Like, for example, we could import planks for 12, and then we could export shields for 6. So how the hell does that work? We'd be losing money. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, there's no enemy villages to capture. But in the future of the game, the AI will make um, villages. You have 312... Bro, we have 172 war bows. How are we not selling those? I only want to keep 60. <laughs> we have more than double. That's why we're getting so much money. Do I remember Power Monger on PC? I don't remember that one. I may have not played that. All right, so we got 80 families now. We got room for like 14 more. 
So when we need more homes, I'll build them here, here, and maybe up here. So here and here. Yeah. And we're going to attack in the spring when we hopefully have enough influence. Maybe I can give more. We could actually uh, buy food. Oh, yeah, actually, we could import a ton of food and just give it to the church. And that'll give us influence. I hope we actually have a bandit camp soon. That, that would solve all our problems. Can't build city walls, no. Manor, yes. We got a video coming out in a little bit, though, and I'm gonna I'm gonna send you all to that video, and that should answer a ton of questions and serve as a good tutorial for anybody wanting to get in the game. And even even if you're not interested in tutorials, the good thing about it, to this video is that it kind of confirms features of things that you can do. And it lists it all out. It'll it'll be great. It'll be video of the year. Video of the year. Are we um uh... Hey, how are we doing on the iron? Hundred and seven slabs. Wow, they're already done. If hey, people want more market area, okay. All right, let's do a market. Um, I think I know where I want to build it. I've been eyeing this spot for a while. What's that building there? Just a house. I think that was a little big, but if we're going to build another stall, we could do one here too. When that one gets full, they can build here. That'll look nice. Can citizens die from predators or animals? I have not seen predators or animals yet that uh, could attack our people, but I think that would be a great feature in the future. A future feature in the future. Statistic for trade demand? That'd be good, yep. Oh, yeah, it 
looks like there was quite a bit of market demand, I guess. Okay, um, I guess we'll see how many markets move in. Mm, there they go. Just two. Oh, wait. Oh, she's just bringing over firewood. Okay. Yeah, the marketplace is managed automatically now. That's one of the things that changed from the demo. So, people who work at a building, um, you know, you get multiple families to... When you assign somebody to a, a building, it's actually like you're assigning a whole family. So, in the case of, like, the granary here, people are in charge, each of these families are in charge of, go, uh, of going to a building that's producing food, bringing it back to the granary to store it safely... And then also bringing that food to the market to sell. And so, you know, one family could do that, but times four gets done four times as fast, basically. What's up, Mario? Welcome, dude. You set up a small market area. How does the game prioritize? Um, I don't know. Well, there's only four market stalls, though. You've got clothing, firewood. Let me check here. Uh, you got clothing, food, firewood, and maybe that's actually it. Yeah. But the more market stalls you have, like the the market stalls, you know, the way it works is you're supposed to go to the market, but the way I think it kind of calculates that is by if a market stall can reach a house, it's almost like they're delivering to the house, kind of other than the other way around. When do we upgrade to super, uh, apartments and supermarkets? Soon. Soon. Eighty-five percent. Wow. And we're at eighty-one out of ninety-four. Good. Damn! Look at those colors. Damn. with taxes too much what happens when the approval rating zero uh, I don't think people move out but they certainly won't move in you got to get it at least to 50 
24 wheat. So I gotta thresh that. Otherwise the uh, mill can't function. We're not gonna make bread until like next spring. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, Obi Wan, Konami, Konami. That's good. That's good, dude. Obi Wan, Konami. Damn, it's hard to not say Obi Wan Kenobi. But thank you very much, dude, for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Lol. Mounted take of the Syndicate would be ep epic. Oh, chat, you're talking classic games now? Oh. Are there different currencies? Yeah. I mean, there's your regional wealth, and then there's the treasury wealth. And that kind of differs. Well, I'll explain that in the video, because, man, it's going to be tricky. Yeah, I think the, everything you've seen in the game, content creators playing will be there. And then maybe more. But I think the idea is to get... I think what's happening is the developer is watching to see if there's any major crashes or issues, fixing those first, and then we'll launch the game on the 26th. Yeah, regional wealth is like how much money our people have, but we get to spend it. So it's not their individual personal wealth, it's like the town wealth. And we get to choose how it's spent. Like, for example, uh, flute lessons. For this guy. Oh, someone moved in here. Can I explain farming? Yeah, I'm going to drop a video in a little bit that does go into that a little bit more, but basically there's some regions where they kind of don't want you to farm. You can kind of do it and it's not as rewarding, but there's some regions that would be very beneficial to farm in. And I think sometimes if it's, you don't really even have to farm, honestly, until later if you have multiple towns, but I'll talk about that, uh, in our video today and tomorrow. I think it would be really helpful too because it, uh, I go into a little bit more detail about how plowing works too and crop rotation and how the uh, farms work and ways that you can upgrade them with the plow. Like you have to unlock the plow but then also you have to build it. A lot to this game. Hey, how are we doing on mining? So we mined uh, 15 iron ore, okay. Oh, what's going on here? Transporting berries to where? They're not even moving. That, that horse is going without a rider. What the hell? Oh, oh they're at a traffic light? Okay. Wow, oh, damn, that market filled up right away. Damn. Make a bunch of little small 
shopping areas. What? <laughs> Enough for one stall? No. Yeah, the 26th of April, yeah. That's when this one drops. Where the hell's my influence? Like, I'm not getting any from the church. I won't be able to take that guy's land. Or attack any territory without that influence. I need influence. If we're going to do military stuff, I need influence. i got to be able to declare war. But I need influence to do it. Absolute banger flute, uh, flute music in this game. Like, it's crazy. I want to save that maybe for one more house. You had a kid two years ago, and you've had no desire to play games since then until Manor Lords? Really? Good. Good. It's pulling you right back in. Good. Hey, more shops. Good. Oh, never mind. Soon they'll build more. Man, look at those trees. Just gorgeous. So we got 24 wheat from that harvest. Some of it was destroyed by winter, so we'll need more workers. Not by winter, but by rain. Yeah, we got Jethro Tull over here. Absolute banger. Plant some decorative trees. In the meantime, Why do I have to carry this man, what a town, dude! It's not yet fully operational. This town, not yet. How be the armies? Ah, eh, they're just standing by. I'm trying to get enough uh, influence so I can finally attack. I gotta, I'm like donating food to the church to get influence to where I can launch an attack on this this guy. So we're we're standing by. We have to wait for, you know, influence. I'm not influential enough. <laughs> Flute guy gets all the ladies and never pays for a beer. 92% approval, the highest I've ever seen. We had 100 for a little bit. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how I did that. Ooh, this would be good for tier 2 houses right here. that later though. Uh oh, we're out of planks. Uh oh. Wait, what the hell? 
How the hell are we out of planks? You know what I think happened? I think that the ox here that died from some sort of lightning strike or something like that, I think this was the ox that was tied to the plank storage, or the saw pit. Yep. So they weren't, oh no, they weren't making planks this whole time. All right, that's all right. They'll be busy for, <laughs> they're gonna be in business for a while. Have I t overtaken another country yet? Uh, there's no other countries in this one, but we're we're going to attack. Uh, we need this number here under influence to be 2,000, then I can attack. So I'm I'm going to keep managing the city and then growing that up. Greetings from the Teutonic side of Poland. Hello. They were they were doing it, the plank challenge. Yeah. Ah, don't worry. We'll get the plank numbers back up. I didn't realize it was zeroed out. We had hundreds and hundreds. We'll get it up. How would you explain to your wife why you're streaming Raptor as much as possible in one word? Yeah, that word is uh, single. Ladies. Oh, why, did, why suddenly did we get all these new subs and follows for some reason? Why did, why did everyone start clicking subscribe and turning on the notification bell and hitting the follow button? Why is, why is my Instagram exploding? At exclamation point Instagram. Is that damn bot still broken? Hold on a second. It's been like four hours. What is going on with this damn bot? Is this thing going to... Is it dead? It's dead. Hold on. No, but for real, I want people to follow on Instagram because I got that badass helmet. And I'm, and I'm about to go to Japan and I'm about to go back to Poland again. And I got plans coming up for... Uh... Something in June again. Oh my god, I think I just turned it on. Okay, I think it's working again. Is it? It's not in the YouTube chat, what the hell? All right, somebody type exclamation point um, gift or discord or something on, on YouTube. Oh, you want me to tell you how to explain to your wife how you'll be? Oh, I see what you mean. I see. You were asking what I would have said to mine, but really secretly you're asking what you'll say to yours. Um... Look, just tell her to subscribe to my channel and start watching my videos, and and I'll distract her. You, be, you be, dude, you, honey, you got to see this guy. Look at this medieval village he built, and you know while she's busy watching the videos, be like, wow, this game looks amazing. You'll be playing it, and then you know when she's, oh, are you playing that game that dude played? You know, I'll uh, I'll be the buffer zone. I'll do the convincing. All right, well, Streamlabs is working on Twitch, but not YouTube, so I don't know what the hell happened. the hell well all right to be fair youtube was completely broken last night so i wouldn't be surprised if something happened youtube went from like we had like almost 1500 people watching to then like down to 32 and then people were like dming me on discord and being like dude youtube unsubbed me to you and stuff and like everybody's subscriptions were gone and then 
nobody could join any other like live streams or watch any other videos. <sighs> I don't know. Hey, Catherine, how's it going? Welcome. I don't know. If you want any of the links, just check down below in the description. Definitely follow Instagram, Twitter. I'll be posting some really cool stuff there. And then make sure you join our Discord because keys will go for giveaways. Yes, the village is uh, very pretty. It is. I modeled it after myself. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. YouTube messes with everything. Yeah, they were probably adding more ads. Like, well, in order to add more ads, we're going to have to shut the system down. I don't know, Bob. I don't know. Damn this bot. Alright, so the bot is working, but it's broken on YouTube. I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. When did the YouTube issue happen? Oh, it was just, like last night for about an hour. Even it happened to me. I was like, I was looking at my phone and I looked at my subscriptions and like I was on sub to everybody and actually let me see if that's still the case. No, it's all back. It's a, it's all good now. YouTube was down, but you know damn well those ads were working. People were probably clicking on videos and stuff, and, you know, the ad would load, and then nothing for a video. So then people go to another, be like, oh, the video must be broken. So they go to another video, reloads the ad. They probably made a trillion dollars. Dennis, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Big answer is turn it on and off. Yeah, dude, 2024. I mean, we're still... It's amazing how so many problems are still solved by the turning it on and off again. You know? YouTube chat is popping off compared to Twitch. I think Twitch has a lot better options for, like, rewards for people watching like there's channel points built into twitch youtube is just so i i swear to god youtube youtube live and the united states postal service have teamed up to provide the same amount of service and uh you know speediness and innovation saddle making has come more in the last 100 years than youtube has in the last 10 when it comes to live streaming I swear to God. Well, that was a hell of a reference, actually. That was good. Ah. Oh, what's up, Dennis? No, I saw your sub, Dennis. Thank you very much for becoming a member, dude. Appreciate it. Can you explain the research system in the game? Sure. Uh, the way it works is as you... You can't really see it at the moment, but... Uh, when you start your village, if you hover your mouse over the top of the name of the village, it will uh, tell you the goals of the village for that current tier. So there's small village, medium village, large village, and then small town, medium town, and, and large town. And so you can get a bunch of research points, or as they call it, development points in the game and then you can spend that on various things now i haven't spent all mine yet because i'm not like you don't really have to rush to spend them until you're doing those things so like later on i'm going to be mining more iron ore but i'm not going to do it until i'm, I'm just not going to spend the point until i need to and it's still a work in progress and still kind of being worked on but still uh and then there's policies here and also production these are all things that are going to grow in the future so but uh now you're it's impossible to get everything unlocked 
in each city. So each city, the game really wants you to specialize. So they want you to build multiple cities because there's no way to get enough points to unlock everything, even in like each particular tree. Like if you want to just do farming, I don't, even, I don't even think there would be enough points to do all these things. So they want you to diversify, conquer lands, work on trade, uh, import, export, that kind of thing. So not one town does everything. It was kind of like how SimCity t from 2013 was set up, where everyone wanted to build the big O city that did everything, but they wanted people to work with friends to make multiple cities to trade and stuff like that. It was actually, despite that game's problems, it was it was genius. It was a genius multiplayer game, but it should have been something a little... Well, we're not going to get into that. But anyway, the idea was smart. It was a really cool idea, and I hope to see it again. Dennis now upgrading to a Raptor Hatchling. Dennis, thank you very much for the upgrade, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, good. Another family has moved into Medvedi Mest. <laughs> good. <coughs> I don't think I'm getting influence, man. It's been months. When the hell is the church going to pay my damn influence fee? Like, at this rate... It's been months. How, how much am I earning? Percentage of surplus food given to the church in return for influence. Bro, I got more food than... Like, a grocery store. The only other way I'm going to be able to get influence to go to war with this guy is waiting for damn bandit camps. Oh, and we're not going to see anymore because I claim that damn territory. Are we are we stun locked here? No, wait. Bandit camps should no. Oh, I don't think we're going to see bandit camps anymore because we claimed the territory. And if I didn't claim this one, he probably would have anyway. Well, how the hell are we supposed to get influence? I want to take that district. I don't know if we're going to see bandit camps anymore because we've taken the territories. Bandits could still attack us, though. We, we could still be attacked and defend. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. Would managing multiple regions and towns be difficult? Well, this plays so slowly that um, it gives you ample time to build all the cities. I'm going to try like 50%. I don't know. I just don't see influence coming in. I could try to import additional food. And then give more to the church. Alright, let's import one hundo of everything. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we got to figure that out now. We got to figure out how the hell to get influence. And uh, yeah, typically bandit camps would spawn on the map in areas that were unclaimed. But I also feel like maybe maybe that should be a thing where they can still spawn in areas that are unsettled. Like maybe you claimed it against the other guy, but bandits can still do things. Oh wait, maybe we could piss this guy off. Makes you acquainted and grants further diplomatic options in the future. Come, come at me, bro. Well, 
Oh, maybe we can piss them off and get them to attack us. Oh, that would be good. And then watch, like, literally the Clone Wars armies approach. <laughs> Dropships come down from uh, Episode 1. Start offloading the uh, the robots. Ah, Dennis! 50 Danish kroner? Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Tech. Get us this war. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Okay, well, now I'm learning some things about the game now where it's like, okay, so... Neutral territories have a chance to get bandit camps in them all the time. Alright, I guess we'll... We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Do I have any game rep, uh, recommendations to hold you over until the 26th? Yeah. Uh, Farthest Frontier. Foundation. Um, Banished, of course. Um, also, there was a game that recently dropped that uh, is like Anno called uh, Lasara Summit Kingdom. And it's, I want... If, uh, if, if, Manor if I didn't have access to Manor Lords right now, I'd be playing Lasara Summit Kingdom. That's a really neat one, too. There's some pretty cool ones that are are like that. Or like Anno. Detoko, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Exclamation ball. Oh, forget it. I was going to say, <laughs> follow me over on Twitch on YouTube, but the, bro the bot is freaking broken. Uh, oh, by the way, now we have over 21,000 followers on Twitch just in the last couple of days, so... That's crazy. We went up like uh, uh, like a thousand new people have followed over the last just couple of days. So that's amazing. And mostly just from people following from the YouTube chat over on Twitch. Uh, just as like an alternative or whatnot. Could be less ads there, by the way, chat. If you follow over on Twitch, there could maybe there's a maybe there's a few less ads. Just saying. You started watching my Don Man series yesterday. I see. I see. Well, Jigsy, good to have you here. I've heard you mention uh, some of many past streams, such as Stronghold. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Well, some other games, which one would you recommend most? Oh, some of the older ones? Well, Stronghold's great. There's a new Definitive Edition, which is great. So, yeah, if you, if you want to go build some castles, go play that. But, yeah, thanks for all the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the subs, YouTube. All right, we're going to have to figure out how the hell this influence works. I wish it would give us an actual counter, by the way, because right now it's just rounding. It gives us a 1.4. Can I... Wait... If we declare war on the outlaws. I'm hoping they come off map and attack us. Like, we had to spend influence, but maybe that'll uh, fire them up and then they'll attack us more, and then we can get more influence from uh, defeating them, maybe? Don't forget to change the battery of the bot. I don't know. I've turned it on and off a few times. He's got to be an issue with the YouTube chat. I'm pretty sure he's modded in the YouTube chat. Hmm. 
Yeah, giving food to the church gives influence, but I'm not getting it. Like, it's not working. Or it's so slow, it's like, dumb. Like, I'm giving 50% of the food. And it's been like three months, and I've been at like 1,400. Anyway, I've saved before we declared war on the outlaws, so I'm going to try to see what happens. Between Farthest Frontier and Foundation, which would be preferred? Well, I guess look at both of their Steam store pages and see what looks more interesting to you, I guess. I think the building is far more like Farthest... Uh, sorry, the building is like Foundation, but the uh, vibe is like Farthest Frontier. Yeah, the bot's working on Twitch, but not on YouTube. Or maybe the commands are broken. I have no idea. Everything's broken now. I want a nap now. And some chicken nuggies and a nap. Maybe I can make this other dude mad. I want... Now I just want people to come and attack me. Well, we already were enemies with the dude. He knew that. Oh, here we go. Well, this is good. We can trade lives for influence. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what happened. Is happening. Um, so now we're at war. That's great. I guess that's going to be one way to get influence is by killing his armies and winning. We have plenty of cash to pay for more mercenary. Okay. Oh, that son of a... He hired all the mercenaries. I should have did that first, then declared... Well, wait a minute. That wouldn't have... Wait, what the hell? All right, this is one of the things that the dev said would change, too, is that they're... The mercenaries... This dude hired all the mercenaries, so I don't get any. Well, then we're going to lose. There's no way we can win that. This is interesting. I could kill some of his troops, but we're going to be defeated. We w And if I bought the mercenaries before he bought mercenaries, then he wouldn't be able to send out troops, I think. Let me try that again. Okay, um... So I guess I, I just want to buy enough mercenaries to win. Uh, let's go with these ones. Okay. And then, where are these guys at? Oh, down there, okay.
All right, so I don't know. Come, come fight me, bro. We'll we'll send the army up here. Just buy both. Well, if I think if I think if I buy both, he can't call any out because he called out the other ones. Because like if I go to the world map and talk smack to him and say, "Sir, you you are a turd." Also, it'd be nice if the infantry could be told to stick on the King's Road and then, even though it's not a direct route, just makes sense. Would another church give us influence? Uh. Oh. You could farm influence that way, build the, um. Build the church and then take it down and build it again. make planks anymore? What the hell? Wait, they're making... They have made planks. Okay. This dude's gonna attack. Like all we gotta do is have some battles now. Yeah, you can click right. Yeah, I know. I I shouldn't have to like. Um, I'm just saying by default the troops should be given an option that when they move they stick to the roads, instead of me uh, making the path instead of waypoints. Wow, this looks cool. Is this Frostpunk? Where are those troops? Can't find a place for weapon storage. Right here. Alright, now we gotta go back into the testing phase, because now we're like stun locked on influence. I can't buy it through the church. The best way to do it was through the damn bandit camps, but then. We uh, claim territory, but then... Well, I don't know. Alright, let's try a couple things. What if we build a settler's camp? Does that give me influence? Let's see. No. That didn't do anything. Alright, let's build another church. Not enough goods? Oh, planks. We'll import. Okay, we gotta get planks to build another church. And now this guy's not attacking. Last time we sp uh, talked smack and then he hired all the mercenaries. Now nothing. Nothing. Is this the tutorial? Um, well, every time you play, there's like pop-ups that help you. Kind of a tutorial, but you can turn those off. 
New town will get you influence. I mean, I just started one. I didn't get anything. Well, I guess you're right. If we develop this town, if we get this from a settler's camp to tier one by building five houses, that probably would work. But uh, doing all that just to get a little bit... Like, I, I want there to be another way. I don't want to have to build the town here. I want, I want to build the town here. I want to build it right here. Right there. Right frickin' here. But yeah, settling a new town and then building five houses will probably get it for us, but... Like, now that we got all this p money, I want money to give me influence. Also, I don't know, I, I'm not even sure what the hell I'm giving to the church. Like, let, let's give them 99%. Percentage of surplus food that is given to the church in exchange for influence. Alright. We got tons of food stored up. Now they gave me, uh... We were at 906, now we're at... Wait. Is it one to one? Mercenary company paid. Is this dude gonna attack? The only way to do this is just gonna have to be to build up a town where I don't want to build a town to then build a town where I want to build a town. Damn it. I want those mercenary camps to keep coming out. This dude's not gonna come out, is he? Let me piss off the bandits then. Maybe I can fight them. Somebody come attack me. Come on. Well, I like how it gives you a countdown timer as to when you're going to pay these dudes. Would lowering taxes increase influence? No. I don't care. Now we're in the experimentation phase. Damn, I should have farmed. I think the best thing you could do here is try to farm influence as long. And then again, you're going to need more. I don't know. What? <clears throat> Why did I lose 500 influence? Because I declared war on the outlaws. I want to see if they can. <coughs> if they attack me. And then if I can gain more influence from defeating them. Eighteen now. Wow, that is incredibly slow. Holy hell. We went from like 406 to 418 over the course of like two months. Giving the church 99% of our surplus food. It's not even worth that. But we're, we're going to have to start a new town and actually like hit these goals. Alright, let's go. let's go back then. Damn it, man. And then it's like a dice roll as to whether or not the enemy's going to get mad at you. But also, I think he didn't attack because I bought the some of the mercenaries and then he didn't want to have a fight because he knew it, he, his ass was going to lose, so he just shut up and didn't say anything. So that means at this rate, if we give the church 99% of our food, it's, it's not even worth it. Yeah, we're going to have to make a new new village and uh, actually um, get it up to tier 1. But then I don't know how much we get from a new village. I just want this village. 
No, we can't. Like, I can put troops in his territory, but that's not going to do anything. We have to have, like, it has to be on paper. It has to be all about honor and glory and all that crap. We can't, we can't physically do anything. That would be, that would actually get things done. We have to pay people for magical points. All right. Well, then that means in the spring we're going to uh, do something with this town then. So we'll probably just build a little village and try to get some points for it. But I need—I just need 2,000. So we could build something small here and then uh, really build over here. That's where I want the big build to take place. The big build. Big. Because, man, look. There's going to be a church here. We're going to do the same thing we did in the other town. So what we could probably do is just build a couple houses here, a couple houses here, and then we'll build the big one. Alright, that's fine. I just don't like how there's no other way to do it, though, and the church is just so stingy with the... Like, I'm giving them 99% surplus, and they're like, eh. Here's a dollar, kid. Here's one influence. Yeah, if I go there now, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to wait till spring. So, uh, yeah. Or, yeah, I was gonna say we could, um, we could declare war on that other guy. And then maybe defend with the militia? Hmm. I mean, we have a pretty good militia. Tier 3, um... Well, I don't have any chain mail or anything. We could start importing that stuff, though. The more Tier 2 and Tier 3 houses we have, the better equipment our militia can use, making them almost like a regular military. And we have so much money that I could just import it. So they'll be able to use helmets, I think. And male armor. So armor, helmets... Shields and spears. All paid for by the profits of almost un, un, like unlimited uh, surplus of war bows, which the only problem now is that it uh, didn't have enough planks. Which looks like the problem from that came from the fact that that ox died. Is this even working? Or actually, uh, import planks. And then we could try to build a... Oh, another experiment we could do is try to build another church. Hey, did you make Men of War videos years ago? Um, yeah. Now I'm making Call to Arms videos. Men of War Assault Squad, Men of War Assault Squad 2... And now, call to arms. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so we'll just make two little um, make two little settlements. 
You used to watch my videos every day? Well, thanks for watching. I'm <laughs> making videos every day still, too. And streaming every day as well. Welcome back. Good to see you. Interesting chat. I think we found out... Um, we've in uh, discovered an interesting game mechanic now, which is it's going to take more time to do things. Damn, I wish I would have ripped up more bandit camps, though. I gotta say that that's what the beginning of the race is, is to try to get try to get your, your knights up and then start hitting every single uh tent and bandit camp that you can in order to get enough influence to then well not spend it at all. And then just like don't don't spend it, like just keep waiting for the bandit camps to come back over and over and over again. But then the problem is it costs two thousand to claim an enemy territory, one thousand to claim an empty territory. So essentially we were able to claim two for one. But I don't care. I still I'm still gonna go over that. Whatever I gotta do to take that territory in the corner, I'm gonna do it. Flavor flavors of history. Big O super chat. First super chat on the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, we're full of money. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do with that except for just buy stuff that we kind of already have, but just maybe not enough of. Hundred and twenty two iron slabs. We're gonna be making so much money from exporting tools. Stall damage. Been watching you play Manor Lords last few days. I really enjoy your content. Learned so much in prep for a release. Oh good. Thank you for the streams. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you. Well now now uh if you're really interested in the mili military stuff in the game, this is this is from here forward. It's all going to be about how the military stuff plays out, and that's not just like build an army and walk into the enemy territory and say mine now. You have to have influence, and that's going to be something we're going to generate now by building more towns. So we're going to have to build a town then, another town. And um, I want to I want to eventually take this territory, but hopefully. Yeah, once we get 2,000, we'll just launch an attack on that one and build an even bigger, bigger town. So this is good, though, because we'll build a town here, and we'll get influence for it. Then we'll take this area, and we'll build a town here, too, and that'll give us some of that influence back. So we'll have four territories, and then we should plan out where we're going to go after that. And I think... Hmm. Clay deposit. I think maybe... What are we going to attack? Clay, endless clay deposit, endless clay deposit, stone and berries, food. Maybe we'll go here. So then we'll, we'll control the whole map except for the corner. That's what we'll do. We're going to take um, Imanruth and then Zywal. Zubity Zap. Cool. That's the plan. We are locked in. Plan locked in. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're going to do. I can't believe how little we get from the church, though. Like, nothing. Like, they give us, like, we give them an entire farm's worth of, like, bread. And they give us, like, seven influence. It's like... Now, obviously, that's supposed to give us influence over a very long period of time. But, yeah. I don't understand how you gain influence if you t take new lands, use the gifts. All right, so basically here's what I'm going to do. Um, every time that we take a territory, it costs influence. If we build a city in that area, then it'll give us influence back. So what I'm going to do is we own this territory here. I'm going to build a city here, which hopefully will give us 2,000 influence. Then I'm going to take this guy's land here, and we're probably going to have a fight over it. We're going to have a war. I'm probably going to win, and then we're going to build a big... We're going to build a big, big town here. And building this big town and upgrading it is going to give us more influence to then take this area. So basically it's claim, combat, colonize. So you basically get influence and then you say, this is mine now. And this guy's like, the hell it is. And then you fight it out through combat. You win. And then you build a town here, colonize it. And then you get influence for building a big city. And then you move on again. Then you say, this is mine now. Fight him again. Build a town. Uh 
get enough influence to then take the next sector and the next sector. And that's how that works. So we need to get, basically we need uh, two, four, six, eight, a thousand. We need a thousand more influence to basically win the game. Um, so long as there's nothing else that takes influence, but that's basically how that goes. So, and can we even do that through building villages? We'll have to keep track of how much influence we get from each village upgrade tier. And it could be exponential, like maybe we'll get 200 from tier 1, then 400 for tier 2, and then, you know, 800, or maybe it's just like 100 per. That That is something now, see now that would be a mega pro tip. And that, when I make a video that's like, oh, 100 things I wish I knew before playing Mandalords, that's one of those things where it's like, that could really help you plan things out. Um, but I'm really glad that we built up this town crazily because this is this has given us the maximum amount amount of influence for this region. So now it's just going to come down to, and now we don't get any more influence from bandit camps because they don't seem to be coming around anymore. However, I imagine every every couple of years the bandits will still kind of like come and try to invade our town, which is good because like oh thank God they're bring they're basically bringing influence so we kill them take the influence and then we're good so very nice yeah there is a day night cycle it's cosmetic okay so i think we got this locked in so um what do we call this i guess new new, new village all right so is it the new year yet no all right so when we have a new year next year we will build a village here or here or in both and try to get them at least up to tier one. We're going to make little self-functioning settlements. That kind of thing. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so settlement A, settlement B, then declare war, then go east and then north, and then we win. Should take just a quick 400 hours, guys. Just a quick, yeah, the new, new village. Very, very cool. How, many, how much do you get with bandit camps? Honestly, I don't know. But that's a thing that I'm going to have to write down now. That's like that's like wiki tier stuff. So we got to find out how much do you get from a bandit camp for clearing that? How much do you get for clearing a bandit army? In fact, if we attack a bandit camp that has an army protecting it, we get points for the killing of the army. We get points for the killing of the uh, bandit camp. And then also, how many points do we get from when they invade us off map? Not, not the... Uh, not the other guys sending troops to kill us, but just random bandits coming to attack us, too. Because we are kind of against two dudes. We're against this guy. Who's bit, they're just robbers. And then this dude who, like, is here on serious business. I guess. I guess. I guess. Alright, let's see. Ooh, pretty music. All right, Chatty Chatters, we're going to go live to an extendo video on the channel, so click or tap that link in the chat, and it is going to be a day one tutorial on Manor Lords. It should explain a lot of the frequently asked questions that you guys have. Otherwise, check the comment section on YouTube, sorry, the description on YouTube, in order to um, basically answer a lot of your questions. We're going to come back to more Manor Lords uh, later today after the tutorial video and we're going to start building those two towns which will then give us influence to invade a new territory i want to do military stuff now but in order to do that we got to build some more towns so we'll do exactly what we need to do in order to uh basically well we've got the army now we just got to build the influence to uh wield our sword so click or tap that link in the chat you guys should be live redirected to our youtube video starting now and i'll be back in a little bit to answer more of your questions and play more of manor lords See y'all in a little bit. Thank you, everybody, for watching.